Good evening, and welcome back to another episode of Once Upon a Witchlight. Uh, as always, we're going to commence with the weekly reading of the previous comments from the previous video. Uh, while we do that, we would really appreciate it if you gave us a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and check that bell so you never miss a video. I was informed that last week uh, you guys read clips, sorry, comments from part one of Mason Space, this is uh, aka yeah. On a Silver Strand. <laughs> so I've gone through and picked uh, from part two. Oh, nice. Oh, uh, wow. Number one, quote, I'm a simple guy. I see new Avantress, I click. Mm. <laughs> For me, number, of <laughs> number two. I really love these characters. I hope Mace will continue to DM more. I love delving into each Avantress member's storytelling. Plus, more chuckles is never a bad thing. Oh, I agree. <laughs> number three. Multiple instances of, quote, this needs to be a full campaign. And I know that Rich agrees. <laughs> and finally, number four. This okay. prophetic comment, quote, Am I the uh, uh, am I the only one who thinks that we should see a full campaign where everyone plays their own unique clown? <gasps> That's all I'm gonna say for now. So be sure to check out our Patreon and our merch shop, and of course leave a comment on the video below because next week your comment could be read as well. Thank you. I'm gonna turn it over to Mikey to do the Geek Ride sponsorship. Hi everybody! <laughs> God, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Gary Goodberry here, and I'm here to tell you our sponsor tonight is Geek Ride Coffee. It is a legal addiction. There's no, there's no laws against public over caffeination. They're locally sourced beans from from women-owned farms down in Columbia. It just makes the best coffee with all sorts of fabulous, fabulous, nerdy theme flavors. My personal favorite. It's not called Gorilla's Treat, but there's a big old King Kong on it. <laughs> and gosh, it's like bananas foster. Gosh, who was Foster, and why does he make such good bananas? You know what I mean? <laughs> if you use Legend 20, the code, on Geek Grind Coffee, you will get 20% off your first order. But please drink responsibly. At least that's what my lawyer said to say at the end of this bit. <laughs> anyway, I think that's all I got. Bye! <laughs> Thank you, Gary Goodberry. Uh, I appreciate that. Thank you, that. Geek Grind Coffee. Thank you, Geek Grind Coffee. I think they're thank really you, regretting the sponsor. And also, tea is fair. <laughs> and most importantly, <laughs> uh, thank all of you. I know that in the Discord, everybody's been talking about the coffee they got uh, and the products they've got, and everybody's been raving about it. So, you know, we appreciate and hope you enjoy it. Yeah. I, mean, I know we do. So, it, it sounds it's like very, it's, it's very good. Well. True. Roll that beautiful bean footage, Rich. Once upon a witch light hour. The sleeping queen stirred in her tower, and through grand halls past lock and key, came to her slumber dreams of three. The first brought laughter filled with fright, the second love defiled by spite, the third a world of pure delight. She welcomed these, they were her own, but soon from porcelain lips a groan. Her silvery dreamscape now forsaken, to pain from which she'd not awaken. Something blighted had come hither, foul as nightshade creeping thither. From yon the grave-like curse did wither. The little prince wept in his spire, his wounded heart had one desire. A ballad from the dreaming queen could turn his maelstrom mind serene. He vowed her rescue, speech sincere, but toys would be his shield and spear, and so he scoured for one full year. In springtime wreathed in parenthood, the prince first found a toy of wood, a doll set, beasts and wild things. But listen close and each one sings, a song of child, owl and bear, a song that calls the spirits there, a song for monsters with much hair. When summer heat steamed like a kettle, the prince then found a toy of metal, a rocking horse with ashen mane. Around its neck was draped a chain. Its horn and eyes and nose shoot flame with mighty hooves and sturdy frame. No better steed one could proclaim. He searched from autumn's harvest throne. The prince then found a toy of bone. Lettered blocks stacked to the sky when turned to words could only lie. Deceit known to the hounds of hell makes for a potent hex or spell of souls, of sin, of shadow fell. Through winter's chill from peak to pass, the prince then found a toy of glass, marble spun in measured motion, like careful thought or certain notion. 
each glinting cat's eye seeing all, from stars beyond the cosmic sprawl, to inner strength and mind's recall. The day has come, no time for rest. The fateful toys placed in a chest, with stripes of white and stripes of red, just like a big top by his bed. The little prince prepares a flower for either outcome, sweet or sour, and makes a wish for love, for power, once upon a witchlight hour. I don't have my music plugged in, so. Not the music. <laughs> Derek, I will fucking end you. Nikki, you forgot. The, Where the, is it? Is it like looped up over no, there? We <laughs> have a Patreon <laughs> and a merch store. Shut up about the Patreon. We're very <laughs> professional. <laughs> and Geek Grind Coffee is a sponsor. Thank you. Okay. Um, I'm Captain Shell. We can <laughs> we can cut this, right? Yeah, I'm gonna cut this. Okay. We're, we're not live. We'll fix it. In post. Oh, we're not live. No, we're fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah we came down. <laughs> yeah, that was enough oh, for me. Yeah. Someone give me a beat. <laughs> yeah. No, you'd say a beat always fuck you up, so you don't ask no, for it me, now. Give me a beat I'm, now. I'm not giving you a beat. No, you're always gonna say no. Let me. No, say no, no, I can't. A beat, a beat. Staying in a beat makes me fuck up. <laughs> I don't know how that's possible. I never noticed that before, but you always demand a beat, and then we get into it, and then you say, "All right, stop," and then you do it. <laughs> that's because I can't stick with the beat. Did you even listen to Mikey just now? <laughs> YouTube music. A sense. I just never noticed that that was like a you know no, that's no. like a thing that always happens. Capri, Capri's dancing with a beat. <laughs> yeah. Capri, Capri. He says the, the the tune down. He just doesn't have a sense of rhythm. <laughs> so that's the that's the track. Yeah, I don't I don't want this. Derek should remember that Frost hasn't thrown up in the swamp water the swamp water yet. He could receive a new curse every few minutes. That's true. I, I don't even true? know what that means. Well, yeah. I don't know what this means, but I think YouTube music's gonna not do what I want it to today. Can we cancel our subscription to YouTube Music? <laughs> well, I'm on it. That would explain a lot. We did it. <laughs> Beef butter. Yikes. I thought I saw that email come in. Derek drank a chunky milkshake. Uh, yeah. Chunky milkshake is actually my drag name. Dear Derek, in an all clown campaign. <laughs> That's the oh part two part two part two. part two part two because I'm clumsy. Would you want to be clumsy or make a new one? I would be I would be clumsy. Okay. Uh, and needs a tea flavor at Geek Grind Coffee called Bodacious Tea. Oh, that's oh, a Oh, yeah. I like where your head's at. Uh, oh, yeah, if we, can eventually, if we can keep partnering with them and then eventually do collab coffees, we actually absolutely have some fun ideas. Uh, if you were to voice a grung warlock pretending to be a, just a wizard who is a real ass con man and doesn't speak common, what would that sound like? Uh, are they like bollywogs? They're like, they're they're like tree oh, frogs. Oh, they're, they're, yeah. they're tree frogs. Yeah, well, like, that's what I would do. Well, and no, yeah, don't would, don't I'll listen to like the the Wizard of the Coast. who's like they are all horrifically evil, so you don't feel bad about murdering them en masse. <laughs> so like they, you can you can even though they're playable, it's weird. Yeah, well, yeah. they have to get wet wow. every hour. I think I would do it. Like, has, any, has anyone thought. seen Smiling Friends? There's a guy that's like. <laughs> <laughs> in hell. That's incredible. He's like, dude, if you do that again, I'm gonna punch you in the face. <laughs> could, could we get a, a, a Honk Legion one shot? Okay, so again, that comment from the YouTube uh, uh, thing was was weirdly prophetic, and I don't want to spoil anything, but like, obviously, we've thought about this, and there's an idea in the works, but I'm not gonna say anything like that. So don't press me. I get I get stressed out when you press me. Uh, Mace, if you've started, how's drawing going? I'm gonna draw tonight. Wait, are you really drawing? You're learning the, to draw? Um, yeah, I'm learning to draw. Oh, you're gonna be a draw, yeah. You're going to be a drawer? I took an art class, uh, actually, in That's college. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh, in college? Okay. Okay. <laughs> like, no, no, no. Don't get that. Go fuck No, no, no. Put that, put that away. Oh, no. Put that filthy thing you away. So no. You sound like you were no, actively no, self-improving. Thank you. No, I think no, 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 it's my last draw. I'm reading a little more. Okay. I did something in college and I want to rekindle that. I think that's very celebratory yes. worthy. So I yes. also took a drawing class. No, I can't listen to this again. The last oh. time you spent 37 minutes talking about <laughs> oil. It just, it just felt like 37 minutes. <laughs> uh, no, that's really great. I, uh, we love to hear that. Yeah, well, here we go. Maybe, so maybe you right if you, don't you draw a penis or a, a, th a middle finger or anything like that, Mace, okay? I want but you when you're feeling confident, you should post your art in our Discord. I'll post this right now. I, <laughs> this Big Buddy has a great question. Is this is my snapshot of Andy. 
<laughs> That's good. That feels uh, violent and threatening. <laughs> is all I'm gonna say. I don't know what that is, but it feel, I feel threatened. Oh, that's, that's his good. backwards hat and the hair, and that's his hair. Oh, yeah. okay. I thought you were doing a sniper locking on Andy in the <laughs> aftermath of that. So maybe this that's is what I thought. Yeah, yeah. I thought he was. <laughs> yeah. Pink Bunny <laughs> asks: Is sloppy gloppy beef butter, or is beef butter sloppy gloppy? Both banned in Spain. You're welcome. <laughs> He well, in Spain! Spain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna. It's fine. Because. Fuck if you sloppy guys. gloppy could be gloppy. <laughs> how, gloppy how much how gloppy could sloppy, could sloppy, sloppy be? <laughs> <laughs> the artists have no idea that the the box challenge for this for this upcoming week is all gloppy themed, so I apologize in advance. This is where we begin, everybody. I can't see what I'm showing it's you. It's almost certainly going to be out of focus. Oh. Derek mentioning Spain makes me think of that meme that's like. Uh, oh, this pizza's pretty good. A person who went to Italy when they were six. It's okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so they'll, oh, let, they'll really. let people enjoy things. <laughs> yeah. Are we good? Yes. Wonderful. Right. I mean, the best. music's been on. I was just letting you guys vibe. Oh, I, sent an invoice. Oh, I love vibe. <clears throat> we want to, like, do something cool to, like, break it. So we you can, like, do the cut. Here. Break the music? No, I'll just do a crossfade. Like do you want me to like, woo, like no, do, one of the, do one of the Star Wars wipes. <laughs> like, no, so I'm not going to Star Wars wipe. I've been doing more dip to blacks lately. Um, What's a Star Wars wipe? What is that? It's just, it just wipes from left to right. Yeah. And, and the music swells. So where, where one frame like leaves as the next frame comes in, it's yeah. really weird. Of course I know him. He's me. Yeah. <laughs> and then, then there's that friend. robot that's like, bonk, bonk. <laughs> um, what is the difference between a dip and a fade to black? Dip to black, fade to black. A, a dip to black is instead of, so a crossfade is when you like, you sort of meld them both together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, so I think someone in the YouTube comments of our latest YouTube series, which we haven't mentioned, of Brand Adventures Abridged, uh, there's Gosh. this frame where Derek is there twice, mm -hmm. and it's once as him, and it's once as Andy Derek, and they like, oh yeah, him yeah. like transpose on top of each other. That, that's a crossfade. A dip to black is you dip to black and then into the oh uh, yeah into the uh, next frame. Got it. Well Thanks articulated. For explaining that, producer Rick. Nicely done. Why is the come on YouTube? Uh, music. Somebody okay, said we're good, we're good. that Nikki looks cute with the red bow. I wanted Thank to say you. it was very Kiki esque, which is my yeah. favorite. Thank character. you. It's that a does. Hello Kitty bow. But I, oh. I'm on it. I'm sold. Thank you. Love that. For I me. need to get a bow. I do like Kiki. She's very cute, and I love brooms. I love brooms. I love brooms. I love broomicorns. I love broomicorns. It will be. All on right. Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Coming soon. And by soon, we mean two no. and a half years. Yeah. All right. So oh. with that, we will get into the session and finally play some D&D. &D. <gasps> you are all standing in the, in the ruined uh, balloon factory, completely mm -hmm. covered in soot and ash. The... Looking out the window, the floating form of Ragnar Ross uh, is still is still there as uh, his embers uh, s steam and smoke billows up. The um, the members of the soggy court across the way, are all encircling, um, or all standing in front of a very large, partially submerged gazebo, um, stare out in horror at what is bobbing up and down in the water. All of them confused and. Uh, unsure as some of their eyes meet yours as you're staring out of the window. It's at this point that down the clothesline that leads directly into the, th the thick um, fog that swirls around what you imagine to be um, the hut, um, you, you notice a, an envelope as it makes its way down, carried by uh, a creature. Uh, and it is here as the bug alofts into the air and deposits the the letter to you that it opens and begins to shout in a voice that you have never heard before. I'm not going to do it again because uh, I'm going to have to do it later. Um, but it, it says to some effect that she knows, or she, she wants her, her ember returned to her. Um, she's very displeased with the members of the Soggy Court and their inability to provide her with the embers that were stolen, and she wants them back immediately. Um, she sees what has happened and knows that some of them are gone, 
um, and she is. There will be. There will be punishment. And you you can tell easily from this letter that it was not meant for you. That her, at least as far as you can tell, your presence still goes unknown to her. So this letter was meant for the Bullywug that helped you here, the one that gave you the small bee brooch as a sign of good faith, uh, mentioning it could be used to potentially gain audience with King um, Gullop the 19th. And it is here that you stand, the letter floating gently to the ground at your feet. Steam still billowing around you. And so it, we don't have any sense that she knows that we're here, or that we killed Ragnaros or any of that. Now, the letter made it very clear that she realizes that some, if not all of her embers have been destroyed and she's very displeased by it. But there was no indication from the letter that she suspected that you had any hand in it. You were not mentioned in the letter. Um, there was no mention of there being additional people uh, in downfall. Uh, it was very clearly a letter that was sent specifically to the Bullywug that had been here um, and a letter of displeasure. <clears throat> Was yes. it a fly brooch or a bee brooch? I remember being Sorry, a fly. Sorry, it was a fly brooch. Okay. Yeah. All right, fellas, we gotta get the fuck out of here. She clearly knows something went down, but it doesn't sound like she knows who did it, so we gotta, we gotta be, be stealthy-like and get out. Oh, maybe this will be a rallying cry for the Boggle Buddies, you know what I mean? The the Bunko Buddies? Oh, the Bunko, gosh, it's wishful thinking. <laughs> I would have preferred Boggle, too. Oh, but yeah, me too. They love their Bunko, you know? Ah, they do. Oh, Frosty, you have a letter, it seems. I'll pick it up. We heard the it voice. Screamed from, at us, yeah, right? It screamed at us. Yeah, it screamed at you. It was a howler. Uh, I look it was at, a howler. I look at it to see if it says anything different or more, or if, if it even has language on it. Um, it is... Uh, it does seem the letters started to appear as the words were spoken, um, and it is in a um, in a very untidy handwriting. Uh, and you do notice that there are uh, splotches of swamp water that have appeared on it, almost as if the hand that had written the letter was soaking wet at Ooh. the time. Hmm. Uh, it says what we heard it scream out just now. Uh, the, the the words are identical, but uh, you can see here, and I show it to Greco to so that he can plainly see the swamp water, the drips, the scratchy writing. Wait, is this what that thing said? Uh, word for word, as far as I can tell. Oh, yes. man, I've been misusing all of these letters for a long time. How do you mean? I mean, how would that pronounce? Is that, is that Ember? We're going to have to have a long conversation <laughs> about spelling, aren't we? Or is that... Gosh. This may be poorly written, but it is written with the correct letters in the correct order. Oh, man, I need to get more schmuzzy. <laughs> we'll talk, and I'll fold it up, Ugh. and I'll, I'll, put it, I'll put it in my pack. All right, let, let's act casual like we were just walking by, all right, as we leave this place in case she's looking down. Oh, but Do we want to collect any of these embers that may or may not be left over? I mean, <laughs> if she's looking for them, it could be a little bit of leverage. Didn't all, them, didn't all of them go into Ragnaros? Oh. Are there any in the drink? Are they all I the think drink? they're all in a drink. They combined into a mega hive mind final boss. Why don't we look? Why don't we all help Frost? Oh, right Frosty! <laughs> let me keep me be peeling my eyes back. No, let me take a look. A Thank roll you for your assistance. At advantage. <laughs> um, I will look around. I want to get a sense of if I do think all of the embers have been destroyed because they assembled into uh, Mega Ross and then got drowned. Ragnaros, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, uh, oh, I'm going to use, see how it's different the color is now that I've been holding it in my hand this entire time? Oh, yeah. One, two, uh, that's going to be one delicious 23. Wonderful. Um, with the assistance of your friends, uh, you begin to you begin to investigate the room, uh, specifically looking in the corners where the six embers had been um, had been nestled. Um, this entire place is covered in soot and filled with smoke. It is difficult to look around, but you attempt to, and it's going to take you a bit more time than you'd expect. And so, in the meantime, Torbeck, <laughs> you awake. <laughs> <laughs> I was wrong, your 
Your neck is stiff and and painful. You clearly slept on it wrong. <laughs> and you realize why very quickly. As you turn your head to the side, where you would imagine there to be a pillow, you see that the pillow has fallen to the floor, and nestled beneath the back of your head is Hootsie, oh, curled up and keeping warm uh, beneath you. Uh, it is then that you notice, you catch a sight of a pastel yellow bow tied into the fur on your shoulder. You begin to look around. You've been thoroughly washed and cleaned. Your oh. hair is no longer this dark brown, but almost a, there you see hints of blonde in there in places. Um, lighter colors than you've ever seen before now that the, the mud and muck has been removed from you. Um, there's a soft curl to your hair and bows tied in all over the place. You smell of lavender and cinnamon. And it feels strange. You look down at yourself and you're in these um, soft blue pastel pajamas with the name Torbeck embroidered uh, on the pocket on your chest. And they're cozy and soft. Your nails on your feet and hands have been trimmed and painted. Um, cute little designs have been um, painted onto them. And uh, you look quite cute, if not un wholly unlike yourself. <laughs> Oh, things are finally coming up all toward me. <laughs> a fire roars in the hearth. There's a tray of um, piping hot breakfast foods and a steaming mug of uh, what appears to be some sort of um, bean juice. And you... Um, you find yourself in this place. Uh, looking around, you recognize that this is clearly the inn at the end of the road, but this is a room far more extravagant than one you had ever seen before. It's three times larger than the one that you stayed in. The trappings in here are um, ornately carved and they are uh, plush velvets and um, extravagant silks heavily embroidered with um, threads of iridescence and it it looks magical this room is a room fit for an archfey torbeck is a natural blonde <laughs> this explains so much <laughs> <laughs> Does Hootsie have matching pajamas? Yes. <laughs> and also bows in her hair, but hers are pink. Oh, that's fucking adorable. Um, wow. Uh, Torbeck wouldn't know what to do. I guess Torbeck would immediately look around for his friends to see if any of them are around. Yeah, you open the door and you look down the hall and all the lights are out in every other part of this house. And as you, you open the door to the hallway, a rush of cold air rushes past you and you you shiver as you feel as you feel the chill uh, overtake you. Uh, the heat of the room almost oppressive on your back in comparison to the the frigid air that's out in front of you. And as mm. you step forward, um, the sound of even your your footsteps almost echo in here as you hear an unnatural silence. I would probably shout for Twig. No, and recognizing that this is the inn, I would probably shout to her to see if she's around. You um, stand in the hallway. Um, there is a banister, and this area overlooks the um, the main portion of the inn. You you look over the banister, and you can see the living area, the fireplace where all of Twig's knickknacks um, were stored, uh, the plush couches where you enjoyed um, bean juice with your friends, and. It is all completely silent and dark. As you call out for Twig, your voice echoes, almost as if you're standing at the end of a very long hallway, um, a space far larger than the one that you're standing in. You just hear your voice echo back at you. But there's no response from Twig. Oh, this is ominous. <laughs> uh, Hootsie, as soon as you rouse, Hootsie would have awoken and like, let out a soft hoot and it's like when you kind of like wake up your dog that's been like sleeping with you will kind of like get up and like look at you of like where are we going and just be following you okay <laughs> um i would definitely be keeping an eye out for her or on her um 
So if I'm overlooking the, the area that I recognize from before, do I see the, the, the entrance? You see the door and you see the windows. Um, and I won't make you roll for it. It's very plain to see that there is no light coming in through the Ooh. windows on either the door or the windows against the wall. It's an unnatural darkness, pure pitch black. Uh, do I feel like I could try the door or does that darkness make me feel like I wouldn't want to open it? You feel like you could try it. I would definitely try them. Oh, I hope I don't get sucked to hell. <laughs> you, you jiggle the knob on the door and it doesn't give. It doesn't feel like it's locked, but almost as if the door is a facade. It's not a real door. There are the hinges look to be fake, almost as if this is a dollhouse. And what you see is just a facsimile of what an inn should be. As you walk towards the door, you do begin to notice shadows. Or as you walk past one of the windows, you do begin to notice shadows moving outside of them. Oh, well, Tormek's first thought was that Tormek will probably die here. <laughs> but, Hootsie, you're here, so Gricko would never leave you to die. Uh, I run, scamper over to one of the windows where I saw the shadow and, like, grotesquely press my face up against the glass and like try to like look out and like see what's going on. With your face pressed to the glass, you see what appears to be thick swirling smoke okay. and giant shadows. Entities 15 times larger than you are as they stalk past you. You see that it appears that the inn is currently moving, almost as if it is trudging through this smoky terrain and the the movement is uncanny and strange giants absolute monstrous giants just towering outside of this thing Hootsie, <laughs> what do you normally do when you're stuck here do you play cards <laughs> Do you know how to play Pinochle? Oh, who's Torbet kidding? Hootsie will uh, give a little shrug and then walk back into the room. And with her uh, paw, she'll kind of pull out like a lily pad with a bunch of like flies swarming on it. <laughs> and like hold it up to him. Oh, well, that's very generous, but that's really not Torbet's thing. She just looks down and will like look a little uh, sad at first, and then just go back to like looking at the flies and just like smatting, battering them around. Oh, surely there must be a way to alert the others. <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. I mean, Torbeck would also not be, like, super pressed. <laughs> He'd kind of just be like, well, maybe I can make myself a cup of bean juice. Or maybe there's some of that displacer pee. Um. Okay. You, you say this as you see the shadows move outside of the window and as the as the smoke shifts and undulates because that's my favorite word it's a great word you see a large eyeball <clears throat> a dark brown iris gigantic in form as it focuses into view and stares through this tiny window at you you see the the iris move this way and that, following every single movement you make. I would have waved to it. Do I recognize this eye at all? Roll an insight oh. check. Or, yeah, I guess it, no, it wouldn't be insight. What would you roll for recognition? Uh, probably straight intelligence. Yeah, maybe. Right? Sure. Not a good perception you could do. Yeah, perception, I think. I think perception. Perception. Yeah, I think perception. Yeah. Perceiving yeah. the insight face. Could work, I think insight so. would work, too. Inf yeah. Think, yeah. I make it a wisdom. Which do you prefer? Insight. Yeah. Not insight. What am I doing? It's perception. Yeah. Perception. Charisma. Perception. Yeah. Perception. No. Torbeck got a nine. <laughs> you don't. Uh, 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 <laughs> I 
scary. Tormek would like to come out. I need you to roll a dexterity saving throw for me, please. Oh, Jesus. Three, <laughs> five. It's the first season of Attack on Titan. Oh! 25. <laughs> Tormek is very quick. Holy shit. Uh, you immediately feel the inn at the end of the road pitch forward. Your body slams up against the wall. Uh, your face once again pressed against this window as this eye blinks in at you. And then you hear the door open as the, uh, the entire inn be begins to shake violently. And you hear, get out, get out, Torbeck's awake, Torbeck's awake. And you realize that though you didn't recognize the eye, it is clearly the, the gigantic eye of Twig as it looks through her glasses peering in at you. She's opened the door from the outside as she begins to shake the house, trying to get you out of it. And with a quick plop, you fall out of the house, right yourself like a cat, and land crouched on the ground. Does Hootsie fall on top of him? No. Hootsie <laughs> stayed inside. <laughs> 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 Oh, keep, keep it down! But he's so little! Oh, oh he's still small! Yeah! Oh, God. Oh. I don't know how long it's gonna take for him to get, get big. I've never knocked someone out of my house like that before. So immediately, Torbeck would be like, Oh, hey, guys! But you guys are here. Oh, hey, guys! <laughs> oh, Torbeck, you are. You're sure he's gonna stay this way for a while? I don't know. Torbeck, you're tiny and blonde. <laughs> Step on Torbeck. Oh, Torb is that? I, I would say I don't recognize you if it wasn't for the horrible uh, fey mechanical monstrosities on your back. Uh, you're, don't, look go ahead. you're looking quite handsome. Uh, Torbeck got a makeover. Don't move. Whatever you do, just try to stand your ground and you'll feel uh, like a platform underneath you suddenly lift you up as I use my hand to ascend you to an eye height. <laughs> watch out, watch out. I, uh, I don't want to drop you. <laughs> You're moving it like really slow, but Torbeck's like past to it. It's just like going like really fast. Just, like, just hold, on, hold on to the thumb. It's invisible. <laughs> Torbeck rises through the air on your mage hand, but the air is thick with smoke, and he's just landed in um, a thick layer of ash. And what had been a clean blonde <laughs> Torbeck is now a Torbeck covered in swamp and ash and all manner of dirty things from the floor of this oh. place. The, the bows, which had been a beautiful pastel yellow, are now all grungy um, brown and grays. Um, his tight, his beautifully curled blonde hair is once again covered in filth as it hangs limply and oily against his skin. When, when the hand stops, there will be a brief moment of silence, and then you'll hear just like soft, high-pitched sobbing. <laughs> Uh, oh, well, it was nice while it lasted. Oh, no, I recognize him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, this is going to be a part of the adventure that's like Twigsy Eyes Shrunk the Bugbear. <laughs> uh, he's not going to be much use to us if he's this small. I mean, perhaps he can do small errands and unlock locked doors from within. Oh, There's not much I can do about that. Can you do this on command? Like, this might come in handy at some point. No, I actually didn't think about it. So, you know, I think I kind of get an idea of what's going on inside of my inn when I'm not in there. And uh -huh. I like, I could just sense that there was something moving around. And at first I thought, oh, it's just Hootsie, no big deal. And then it was like, I smelled something weird. <laughs> and I'm like, huh, did Hootsie poop on the carpet? <laughs> And I was like, oh, it's probably Torbeck. <laughs> and so I looked into the house, and it was definitely Torbeck. Mm. And then I would just go real excited and open the door and let him out. I didn't really think about it. So I don't really, I don't know. It might be like this forever. Now, Torbeck, are you prepared for a life as a tiny, tiny whatever you are? <laughs> <laughs> Only if Torbeck can ride in Mr. Crummy's pocket. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, what? <laughs> hey, here, I'll, I'll, get, get closer. Oh, why is it going to be my pocket? I'm pretty sure the kids got some pockets. No, there's no pockets on this. This is just a t-shirt, man. <laughs> uh, Mr. Crummy has a beautiful lapel. I'm going to drop him in there if you can just hold it open for you. Or me. 
<laughs> you know what? We're going to compromise with inside pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, God, I feel like I'm going to crush him in here. One wrong move and he's just dead. He's paced. I mean, just don't offend him. He might just grab up and twist. Oh. Well, no, well, he, he's reptile. not a mammal. Oh. <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> ah. I forgot that you don't have nipples. That's on me. I could probably fashion a little pocket out of my uh, out of my vest that would be very comfortable for Torbeck. Might need to, you know, slice it up a little bit. and You know how to stitch, don't you, Grammy? I mean, I, I can fix things in a pinch, I guess. I mean, he can just use his mind. It'll probably be easy for him to do it. To, like, stitch a pocket? I mean, this is... Oh, no, he can just fix... I'm just trying to I'm trying to fashion a little pocket in my, my nugger hide I mean, usually uh, I'll, I'll have Gid, you know, mend my clothes if, you know, something tears, because he's just sort of handy with tools and stuff. I would like but... you all to roll a d20 for me, please. Gideon, I feel like you'd be able to fashion some sort of miniature b- Bjorn. <laughs> And in case you weren't aware, I'm dreading you. Yeah, uh, yeah. I got a two. Twelve. All right. We'll start with the two. Okay. <sighs> a miniature Bjorn, perhaps. Uh, yeah, no, we'll just start with Mike. Gideon, or, uh... Yeah, Gideon. Gricko? Gricko, you begin to feel your body change. <sighs> so you get taller. Oh. Your voice changes as you feel an entity present in your body that hadn't been there before. As your eyes look towards Gideon, your arch nemesis, the one that took your life, (laughs) the one that created the Honk Legion. (laughs) Mikey, will you please be chuckles for me? What, wait, what is happening to me? Oh. Oh my God. I am an elder god made flesh! Oh no, are you guys seeing this? Am I going crazy again? No, you're dead! I saw pigs eat your flesh! No, 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 this is not happening! Oh no, I watched the whole thing myself hovering above my bloated and uh, corpse that had withered away from alcoholism long before I fired! Oh! Oh my goodness! I mean, I knew this happened to, to Cluffy, and when I fucked him back to hell, I didn't think it would happen so soon. Oh, 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 hey, fellas! This is what happened to me. Gricko's somewhere how stuck inside of Chuckles' mind right now, watching all of this happen. Oh no! I mean, gosh, I feel like I wear goblin flesh. Pretty nice. I can warp it into sallow, uh, reanimated clown flesh in a pinch. It actually is quite the Eevee conversion. <laughs> hey, Gideon, what's oh, your favorite animal? God, I hate this guy. You know what? It's a pig. Oh, it's a pig? Yeah, I got oh. a lot of pig friends, and you've met them. Oh, y- yes, I mean, God, I mean, I, I, you, it really, I guess you know what they say. You, you, you really look very similar to one. Let me just... <laughs> I'm gonna need a lot of balloons for this big boy. Where did he get the balloons? <laughs> oh, just I need to get some more. Get, do a little sound effect because I would get a bunch of. <laughs> 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 I love how you just order him to do a sound effect and he does it. <laughs> 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 Oh, look, it's, oh, it's you. Well, I think we need to make a little improvement. Uh, I'll pull out a, a, a lipstick. <laughs> oh, it's still hideous, but it's fitting, and I flick it over to you. <laughs> it's cute. I mean, I hate it. I hate you. Uh, wait, wait, but uh, when this happened to you, did, did, you were still inside I there, I remember right? being lucidly aware. I have no idea if that's the, going to be the case for Grico. So I shouldn't be like, hey, Gid, can you please kill <laughs> this guy? No, absolutely not. We Frost, have no way of... No. As this conversation is happening, <laughs> you feel constricted in the clothes that you're wearing. You would be much better naked as you become a proud nudist. What's important is that we don't panic. He may not be a threat to us. We have to be very careful to make sure that there's no oh, possible uh, you, problem. Do you think you can make this point with your clothes still on? I'm not sure what you're talking about. Oh. <laughs> oh, here. G- give it here. Give it here. Oh, yeah. Give it here. I'll keep it for safekeeping. Uh, my, 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 oh, your belt? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There we go. It'll just completely 
me just appear into the bowl or cap. Okay, okay, robe, robe, I can do that. Oh, it's gonna need to fold a little bit and it'll just completely oh, slip and disappear. Not back. Oh! <laughs> I take the pack off, I take my uh, uh, my undergarments off, and I stand proudly. I don't think that but he's a threat. But your shoes are still on. Oh, yeah, I mean, who's gonna take your shoes off? That's, what That's an idiot. I'm a proud nudist, I'm not a psych. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's like people who fuck it with their socks on. <laughs> oh no, I think you really should get rid of the shoes. No, no, I'm gonna keep the shoes on, Chuckles. This is important. I think I can probably get you some replacements that are even more sanitary. Show me the replacements first and I'll consider it. Well, that's not how that works. It's gotta be a little bit of mystery. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah. oh, God. <laughs> come no! Off. Oh! Rose, what are you doing? Oh. Yeah, yeah, ring, yeah. Ring Show me the replacement structure. Okay. <laughs> oh, let me, what size are you? Oh, you're so, you're you're about Bengal tiger paw, little anthropomorphized. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, yes. Oh. <laughs> okay, I think I can come, coming right up. <laughs> I'm gonna pull out a pair of ridiculous clown shoes that are like a, a gaudy um, hair metal band tiger print on them. Oh, nice. Yeah, uh, here you go, your own pair of squeaky squeakers. Sticky squeakers. <laughs> I've been dead for far too long. I regret making this decision, but I do need to wear my shoes. Oh, man. <laughs> I can't believe that this is actually kind of like my body. Yes, it'll be very sanitary. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Surely they come off. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh goodness. Juggles, you got me. You have your own pair of squeaky, sticky squeakers. That's I'm, a tongue twister. I'm beginning to remember why Gideon killed you. <laughs> oh, I don't even remember the joke that I said when I finally sloughed my mortal coil. And now that I feel, now, you know, I, I was filled with so much demonic, uh, feverish hatred for you, Gideon, that I planned of all the terrible things that I would do. I was like one of those edgy robots playing high schoolers. <laughs> and now that I finally am clown made flesh, I th maybe it's you little friend in the back of my head, perhaps preventing me from enacting my murderous wishes. That, I guess that'll have to be uh, something I take care of for next time. <laughs> now I'm just happy to feel the disgustingly, overly humid swamp air on my gray, sallow flesh and my flesh gloves. <laughs> oh. Well, I mean, this is a rare opportunity. I Look, you know what? Obviously, I don't really apologize for what you did, and I don't really apologize for feeding you to the pigs. Is what else were we gonna do? At that like, point, we'd have the only option. We'd have to charge for ice. It would have been a whole thing. <laughs> oh yeah. But what kind of deal did you make to make this all happen? I mean, was it sort of like a post-death thing, or like did you make a deal for like when I eventually die, some sort of reincarnation biz, or like my spirit will carry on? Oh, well, I have to be a little cryptic, but let's just say you're not the only one with friends on the other side. <laughs> oh, can you believe this fella? He thinks, oh, I have a whole lot of special powers. It's very generic, actually. It's, not, it's actually quite easy to be a warlock, you know. This is a bigger problem than I realized, Gibbs. <laughs> yeah, he's a huge dick. Oh, yeah, no, no, it, it, it's a big problem, especially for you, Gibbs. You, know? <laughs> you are listening to this, and you occasionally think of something you want to say. And every time you do, you realize in the back of your head that that's not true. And yet you can't stop yourself from wanting to say it. As you are only able to speak in lies. <laughs> oh! Torbeck, you look so tiny. You know, you were the only one who was ever nice to me. Oh, here, let, do you want, oh, why don't you sit on my flower? Oh, oh, oh. Hey, do you feel this? <laughs> There's like blood like dripping from like, you know, his orifices. Uh, oh, do I think what's your favorite what's your favorite animal? No! A poodle, gosh! I never you look like a little bit of a poodle. Hold on one second, I'm gonna put you on top of my flower. As uh, soon as you set uh Torbeck down, he like 
There's like a <laughs> he like vomits a little bit. He like oh, mouth the flower. I'm ready to catch if if there's a drop. I'm I'm trying to to make sure Turbic <sighs> remains safe. And I'm gonna create with like a tu- <laughs> I haven't worked with this precision. Hold on, and I'm going to pull out of my hat um, like those glasses for like mini painting, and they'll get really small. As I'll pull out uh, these uh, little tiny tools that are also kind of squeaky and, and honky. As I'm like, okay, we're gonna get you a nice little poodle mount. Here you go, Torbeck. Mm, Torbeck hates this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, if you hate it, then you... Oh, I love it. Oh, it's a bit ironic. Tormex never hated anything more. <laughs> oh, well, I guess I'll take it away. Fine, I'm sorry. I yeah. just thought I could help you out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah. I guess I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... And I pop it. Yeah. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so happy. <laughs> This is horrifying. I, what, did, what did you get? Oh, God. I thought Can she was going like, to forget fun. about it. No. Nope. I'm just a, going through them slowly. I rolled a 10. I rolled an 8. Okay, thank you. You may continue. Oh, I'm sorry, Torbeck. <laughs> so what do we think? Do we try to, like, knock him out, restrain him? Or, you know, should we just let's sort of let him do his thing? Well, the last time I punched him, he died almost immediately. You know what I mean? And I, I think that's still uh, Grico in there. Frosty yeah. To be- I'm not. I'm and Frosty's to be. Oh wait, what? <laughs> My ear is gonna get absolutely massive. Oh, that's a nightmare. It'll be a bunch of hairs inside of it. <laughs> the hyperrealism. Oh no. Thank you. Hey. Uh, two. Oh no. Please be a winner, Ladron. <laughs> Perfect. You look into this giant ear and you see the hair and the, the oh. crusty earwax <laughs> yeah. as it coats the inside. Oh, they're like vibrating. Oh. <laughs> and you are disgusted as your body begins to change. And where had been an alligator folk now stands a beautiful summer ladron. Your hair flowing down almost waist length, a beautiful wavy blonde. Your oh. si- your skin sun kissed, pinkish, with almost hints of red. Your eye is a piercing green. Hey man, <laughs> <laughs> love it. This is this is pretty. This is pretty cool. Wow, do you see this skin? Wait, why are you talking like that? Whoa! All of a sudden, I feel, I don't know, I feel so warm all of a sudden. Just kind of like, you know, I'm just, I was just real, you know, kind of oh, cold blooded before, and now I'm like, sort of like warm blooded, you know what I you, mean? You feel the heat of blood rushing inside of your veins? Well, yeah, almost like I don't have to rely on the sun to warm my blood. Oh! What does it feel like to have body. hot blood running through your veins? Describe it in detail. Oh, well, it's sort of like, you know, whooshy, I guess. Oh, it is, is it? Oh, is it whooshy? Oh. Yeah, man, I mean, it's kind of, you know, it's pretty cool. It feels nice. Oh, you know, I bet of, it does. Sort of. I haven't of felt pleasant. that in many, many, many years. Kind of like, um, you know, <sighs> um, cool, <laughs> you know, sweet, oh. you know. Oh man, I bet it does. Granny, kind of, you know you scucks, you know what I mean? Oh. You'd feel warmer with less clothes on. Is that how that works? Oh yes, it's very freeing. Oh, and you can feel the works. sun hit your body in its entirety. It's wonderful. You know what? I sort of just feel like that feels it, wrong. You, you get what? colder, in fact. I mean, <laughs> <clothes, laughs> start warm. taking off all my clothes. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Oh, no! Give it here! Give it here! Yeah, no, very uh, nice suit. Oh, I actually have the suit. I could give you the name of my tailor, but he's dead. <laughs> uh, I won't take the pants off. Oh, but no. I'll, I'll, sure? I'll rip the legs off so that I'm wearing basically like pinstripe purple shorts. <laughs> like zip off. Exactly. Yeah, rip them down. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, right into the hat. He's the pant there leg. We go. I don't need there, this there anymore. We go. Man, yeah, no. <laughs> Look at these, these rippling muscles. This what you feel like every day, kid? Well, I mean, probably. You know, I mean, it's it's nice to be strong, but uh, I liked you better before. Why is Mr. Krammy so ugly? Are, are, you, are you looking at Krammy right now? Yeah. Well, yeah. You fall madly in love with the first person you see. <laughs> oh, gosh darn. 
Oh, wow. I mean, you know, I've always thought that having hair would be a little bit annoying, don't you think? But it's actually kind of nice. It's soft. Oh, yeah, that's why uh, it's very oh. annoying to have a full head of hair. I, very ugly. The women, the lady hated, actually. <laughs> you know, I'll rub my bald spot. <laughs> I was gonna say that I liked how you looked before, but uh, I'm liking this version of you. Oh, you think it looks kind of nice? Oh, it looks mighty nice. We sort of match a little bit with our pectoral muscles, you know? (laughs) Yeah. And I'll like sort of like flex a little bit and like make them make them bounce. I Uh am just so (laughs) glad we are married. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, 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 you get oh, this whole ironic thing. Well, I mean, you know, in like uh, me too, (laughs) me too. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, we should well. probably get rings, you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> Just I sort of like should. ironically, you know, kind of. Yeah. Kind God, of I sort love of, you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you need oh. rings? I didn't forget you guys were still here. Oh, I love you, man. Yeah, yeah man, I love you, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, I think I have something right here. You're my here. best mate. You're my yeah. best mate. Yeah, yeah, you are my best mate. That's for sure. Yeah, you're I've my had best. a couple. I mean, we're sort of ironically <laughs> married, you know. It's sort of, how can you not be yeah. best mates if yeah, you're ironically, not ironically married? Ironically, I mean, there was a whole ceremony, you know. We well, signed I papers, mean, we drank. I mean, technically, sort of. We <laughs> yeah. technically married, but yeah. really we're just, you know, ironically just best buds, right? There was a wedding cake and everything, I think. Well, I'm pretty sure that was... Oh, well, it was actually a wedding pie. Yeah, no, uh... Uh, what that? What that fellow's name? He was like, oh, I, that I, goes, I have, a, I have a peanut you're, you're allergy. Of, uh, oh yeah, uh, oh, thank you. Yeah. Yes, I watched him die horribly. Oh yeah, yeah. He he's very pathetic. Yeah. Yeah. Well, listen to him die for like an hour while he was. Oh, did he? Well, for, yeah, that's what he uh, said. You know. Well, he said that basically the the peanuts had closed up his throat, and no, not a soul could hear him, and no one could give him aid for the very long period of time that he could have been saved, <laughs> yeah. given the given the all of the excitement of the wedding. Unfortunately, if the second that he dropped with. And they started playing uh, Sweet Carolina, so that everyone, of course, ran to the dance floor, and no one saw him. Yeah. Yeah. And then the next one was the Electrum Slide, so it was like no one would come back. Yeah. So right yeah. When he was shouting the loudest was right when the bump, bump. Bom, yeah. No, he never really, he never stood a chance. Or just right over him. Yeah. Well, he's, you know, he's pretty bitter about it, but I mean, you know, I always try to chipper up his mood. Although I feel like my mood's a little too chipper. Your Greco friend is a little too. Uh, <laughs> Uh, too agreeable. I mean, I feel still that visceral hatred towards you, mm. but I feel like I don't have full control over my own emotions. Hey. I'm actually, not worried. Hey, Frost. Yes. <laughs> what's wrong with Gideon? Uh, what's wrong with Gideon? That's what I said. <laughs> I, uh, I. Oh, the only thing that's wrong with Gideon is that he hasn't accepted his natural form. Uh, Gideon, why don't you join us and uh, uh, celebrate the 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 body, uh, the physique, the. the... Yeah, I mean, I suppose I could. I mean, you could join us. Yeah, feel the feel the feel the sun. Yeah, feel the sun. Yeah, I take my shirt off. This is maybe exactly what we all need in order to enjoy peace. <clears throat> Chuckles. Mm. Uh, to enjoy peace uh, and 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 and. Relax. Oh yeah, absolutely. I think you should really consider taking off your clothes. <laughs> Yeah. yeah Jonas, oh, I'm already Jonas, halfway there. Yeah. 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 Oh, don't you, yeah. Worry. Yeah. Don't you yeah. worry, you handsome devil. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, you know, look, it's not like my old previous form was really that bad, but this is pretty cool too, don't you think? Kremlin, Kremlin, let me just say. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I loved your previous form, okay? I mean, wasn't bad at all. No, I'm, well, I'm not saying it. But you are a beefcake right, right now, okay? And I, mean, I just want to cut me a slice. I mean, I'm, I'm, right? I'm a fairy, technically, right? I mean, the, the, the whole fae thing is pretty, pretty enchanting. You know what I'm saying? I'm, <coughs> I'm, 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 I'm literally made of fae. What? Beguiling. I'm beguiling. <laughs> you think uh, that's what's happening to me? Or I just love you so naturally? It's just so hard to fight. <laughs> Well, I mean, <laughs> you just beguiling. There's an endless summer in your heart, perhaps. You're really yeah. leaning hard on the whole like, ironic thing, you know, sort of like God's not, or like us, you know, kind of getting married technically. I just need really... you to start blinking a little bit more because I'm starting to fall into those eyes, okay? <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, you're really laying on pretty thick, kid. I mean, uh, I don't know, man. Maybe it's the fade thing. Maybe it's because you're a fairy. <laughs> I don't really know what's happening. Oh, guys. Yes, Twig. I hate to tell you this. <laughs> oh, what is it? I think I'm becoming a weird twig. Oh! Oh god! Oh no! Oh god! My nails are getting long. Oh! Oh my gosh! My teeth are getting sharp. Oh! You look the same. Oh! Oh! oh. No, they don't. They're long. Oh no! You should probably take off your clothes about it. No, I don't think I should do that. Oh! I'd be a twig unchained. 
It'd be a twig uncontrollable. Oh. It'd be a twig that no one could handle. Oh. How can we help you? Oh, this is terrible. What kind of lycanthrope might you be turning into? I gotta get in the house. I gotta get in the house. And she <laughs> throws the house on the ground and she rips the door open and you see as she tries to force herself in it, but this house is way too small even for her. And she screams and tears at the house oh. trying to trying to get herself in as she is no longer paying attention to anything oh, that you guys are doing. No, Twig's definitely a weird twig. She told Torben. <laughs> oh, is it because she likes all those frogs? Is she like turning into a big oh, frog? Oh, 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 you, you see Twig's head um, yeah. peek out from attempting to get into the house. <gasps> That's exactly what happened! That's right. I think the weird dude! <laughs> Oh, no, she, she contracted more than for me. There's distant owl, muffled owl bear screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Chuckles, you seem to have a number of solutions in your head. Is there anything you have that could potentially cure uh, our, our, our friend Twig here? Oh, yes, I have just the thing. Allow me to look in my oh. Oh, 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 no, this. Oh, oh no, hold on. I'll be I'm pulling out my thing. Then you'll hear the clanging of bottles. Oh, wait, do you have any wine? No, oh, man. I we have to find wine right now. I don't know if I get to take it with me. I don't know how this shit works. <laughs> One moment. It, I feel like we're. I feel like this is kind of like the the excellent animated film Batman Beyond Joker Returns. Oh. <laughs> and so I don't know how long I. It's literally what this is. It's pretty cool. It's a great film if you haven't seen it. <laughs> oh, anyway. Oh, here I have the cure for my cancer. Oh. And it'll be like a really dirty bottle, and there'll be some mysterious liquid in, and there's a a homemade label that just says special medicine on it. A uh, twig. <laughs> Pulls herself out of the in at the end of the road. Uh, did you say you can cure me? I can. I have the cure for like can't to be right here. Here you go. Oh yeah, that definitely looks legit. Did it work? It's faster. Oh no! Chuckles. <sighs> And I'll peel back the label, and like in bright, like colorful letters, uh, colorful letter letters, it'll say, uh, lycanthropy curse accelerant. Oh no! Oh no! I mixed up my bottles. I used extra mustard in that one. <laughs> Surely you have a solution for the solution. Oh, oh, I have the lycanthropy curse accelerant antidote. Hold yes, on. yes, yes, of course. Oh, hold on. I'm not going to pretend to know how your powers work, but oh, please, quickly. Oh, oh, this. Oh no, not that one. That'll be crazy. Did Chuckles oh. ever tell you guys he's oh. a qualified doctor? Oh, yeah. Oh, is this such great news? Did you hear that? No. The doctor. I didn't know that about Chuckles. Oh. No, Thank I you, didn't Corbett. kill him. I manslaughtered him, okay? Gideon? You manslaughtered the doctor, dude. Well, You're my best friend, right? Uh, yeah. I I'm think... dying of weird totism. No, I don't think that that's true. I mean, he's and got just... some kind of cure to the accelerant Before for Before I go, Gideon... <laughs> Will you hug me one last time? Uh, yeah. Oh, please. <laughs> Oh, and as you, lift, for real. as you lift Twig, <laughs> she latches onto oh, you and quick. bites into oh, you. Oh. oh, you should know if I did this, Gideon! Oh, she's diabolically clever. We stand no chance. Feed her the medicine, Gideon. <laughs> you should have known it wasn't true because Torbeck is the best friend. Skin. And I try to, like, warm while she's attacking, get I'm going to try to pour the, uh, the, the whatever chuckle does, does made. a 17 hit? Yeah. I'm, she does one point of damage. <laughs> right in my fembloir. Yeah. I'm just squirting Ow. blood. Yeah. Restrainer, uh, restrainer, Gideon. Yeah. And it'll say, and the, this label will be a similar dirty bottle with a different color liquid, and it'll be extra special, extra special medicine for real this time on it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I. All the Bjorn I started to fashion to keep Torbeck in, or whoever was going in the Bjorn, I don't even remember. Uh, Torbeck was going in the Bjorn. Uh, I'll, I'll whip Twig around and, and tie her quickly into the Bjorn. And, yeah. Oh, wait. If this is... And it'll say extra special uh, medicine for real this time. The real bottle. Oh! No, what are you doing, Oh, I'll peel back that label, Gideon. Say, oh my god! It'll say like Anthony Curse, accelerant, accelerant. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh no! 
She's gonna become uh, quadruple wear to uh, oh, wear totism. <laughs> oh gosh, I don't think they even have a stat block for that. <laughs> oh no. Uh, well, so, what, 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 what do we do? Well, I guess Gideon has met a very uh, justifiable end, but wait a minute. If Twig killed Gideon, that means that I can't. Come here, you little bitch! <laughs> oh no, stop him! I'll, I'll endeavor to tackle, I'll, t- I'll endeavor to tackle Chuckles. Uh, yeah, I'll just put my hand out at him and stop Chuckles by holding his forehead uh, and keep Twigs um, back from him. I'm gonna do this at disadvantage. Do I have no? Oh, does a 22 hit? Me? Yeah, as you reach out, she Uh lunges forward and sinks her teeth into your bicep, uh, tearing at you, doing one point of damage. (laughs) (laughs) Twins it! I'll use my um, my cat uh, agility ability to uh, uh, jump Your forward. Agility? My my cat agility while I'm agilitying all over the place, and Ew. I jump forward and attempt to uh, tackle Chuckles before. Uh, what? Do I have Greco stats? Yeah. Okay, let me pull up Greco. Let me pull. Uh, I I'm going to endeavor to stop uh, Chuckles before he reaches. I the, the seeing, contest. Seeing the danger that Gideon is clearly oh. in, given a uh, wear twig. Oh, oh no, naked furry cat. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Stop. Oh, I, I don't know. Like that time at the convention. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, natural 20. Oh, boy. Um, it's just a, it's a grapple, so whatever that would be. So it's your athletics versus my athletics or acrobatics. Oh. Uh, do you beat a 25? Uh, I might not be able to do that. Let's find out. Athletics or acrobatics? Or is it just my athletics? Your, your athletics. athletics. You're, you're trying to restrain. Oh, you slippery bitch. 22. <laughs> <laughs> oh! No! And you'll feel that my suit and uh, is really slippery and greasy. Mm-hmm. Roll another d20 for me, Andy. <laughs> uh, I, I, I ran towards you in the entire time that I did it. Nice. <laughs> then, uh, I did attempt to grab uh, onto you, but I'm assuming I miss. Traitor! Yeah, no, I, I, I'll resolve it when I'm ready. Oh, oh. Uh, I was like, oh, thank goodness I remembered to grease myself this morning and that I didn't forget my daily routine. <laughs> and you'll slide off as I will attempt to basically lunge forward and grab. No, don't you kill him! I'm going to try to grab to him. <laughs> I can't believe <laughs> <laughs> She's going to attempt to bite you. My do God, I do I, I rip her off of Gideon? Uh, I would try and anti oh. grapple him. I don't know if he's lunging at me. I would try and grab him and. Uh, <laughs> They're talking uh, warring over to yeah. <laughs> Um Does a nineteen hit? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. She does one point of damage as she bites into your flesh as you re- reach out for her. I would like to know if I'm able to pull Twig away before that happens. <laughs> I would normally say yes, okay. but not if Gideon is contesting it, because okay. she is in a baby Bjorn on his chest. Okay, that's oh, that's fair. Oh fuck! <laughs> ah, ah, How did her teeth get that sharp? My teeth are actually sharp, but I oh gosh, is that clown blood? Oh, that's a whole nother curse. Oh, <laughs> come here! I'll save you, Gideon, so I may kill you later. <laughs> I, I have no idea what to do. I'm covered in grease. I'm covered in clown grease. Uh, you know, oh, so you guys have, have, to have to do a contest. Yeah. yeah. What's help. happening? I start taking my my uh, homemade shorts off because I still have underwear on. Mm-hmm. Hey man, you should put these on. You know, just so you're a little more decent. I'm gonna do a twist. Why what? would I do that? I mean, you just sort of like you know, you're just sort of all out there. You know what I mean? And you, I'm proud of it. Well, you can be mostly out there without being, you know, all the way. You know what I mean? I do know what you mean, and I'm offended by the thought. <laughs> oh, you? Oh, I didn't mean anything by it, man. I mean, I, it, it just would totally chill. I mean, I'm, I'm not. I'm just trying to, you know, maintain eye contact up here, and it's just, it's a bit distracting. My so eyes I'm, are up here, Grammy. I'm just trying to, you know. I don't know. I just thought I was being nice. I'll put my short pants back on. You'll get used to it. Everyone will. This is forever oh, now. These are shorts that were made from pants. Do you think I could call them shants? <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. to a Oh, fuck! <laughs> My you know, flesh gonna... glove! Oh. Uh, that one definitely hits. Uh, she's going to do one more point of damage as she bites your thumb. Oh! My other thumb! Oh gosh, I'll not be able to use my special move for weeks or else it'll be very unsanitary. Ah! 
Yikes. Yikes. So what happened with the contest? Um, is it just strength? Yeah. It's yeah. athletics. Athletics. Oh. Yeah, you'd absolutely smoke me. Uh, I use the twist, by the way. I would have been 20. <laughs> Uh, 16. <laughs> you, yeah, you attempt, but you are a greasy clown. And as you, uh, just as you slip... <laughs> And also I play Chuckles. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah, that's going in there. Uh, I, will, I will do that in a bit. Uh, but yes, you are a greasy clown. And as you attempt to rip uh, Twig away from Gideon, um, he is able to hold on to her as she slides out of your grasp. Um, Oh, I shouldn't have greased myself up this morning. <laughs> attempting to bite you again, but you, you, the movement is too quick, and she's not able to find purchase on any part of you uh, as she lashes out um, ferociously. I will fall back you. on top of uh, Frost after you <clears throat> failed the attack. Let me, oh, you just hear a bunch of squeaking and honking. Wait a minute. Uh, and then the rattling of bottles. Oh, he's so greasy, and now Frost is so greasy, and now he's not wearing any clothes. Oh, no. I'm extremely greased up, but where's Torbeck? And I look for Torbeck, because I last I remember oh. he was on top of... Uh, I am still, Torbeck is still desperately clinging to this flower on his lapel. And screaming. The and it's like, it's like is, holding onto those spring toys. He is toys. screaming in a high-pitched voice as you look over to him. But his voice begins to change as his head changes shape. Where there had been Torbeck's head, there is now a donkey's head. <laughs> and the loud braying of the donkey pierces through this room. It's very hard to hear over the scuffle, but if you listen, you will hear the sc like a s tiny screaming yeah. donkey. <laughs> I don't even think I can do it with that high pitch. I'm gonna like blow up my vocal yeah. cords. <laughs> Really and I'll, I'll fall it's back. It's hard to know if it's Torbeck or Chuckles. And <laughs> I'll like be, oh no, I'm falling. And you will actually see me falling in slow motion as I do it. And you'll hear like a, a clown chorus of bicorns that are playing Ave Maria. <laughs> <laughs> oh! This continues. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. How does we do that? <coughs> Crummy, you have to protect Torbeck while I wait for Chuckles to land on. I can just get up. <laughs> <laughs> How's he falling in slow motion? That's like remarkable. That. Oh, it's very oh, dramatic. Torbeck's just there. He just sort of looks like a donkey. So jump on my hand, Torbeck, while he falls. Jump on my hand. <laughs> uh. Oh boy, what's that gap? Like 400 feet for Torbeck? <laughs> like, I don't think I, unless you bring it like right up to yeah, the Yeah, I, I go right up to the chest and uh, like it, so it, as, as close as I can to the flower. So it's, it's, it's. I'm full can matrix right now. Common? You can, and you you no longer feel compelled to lie. Okay. Uh, as soon as I see the, the hand very gently like reach the lapel as he's falling, Forever. I would attempt to make a jump to the. Jump on and, my and donkey bird. scream the whole time I'm like through the air. I, I grab him and uh, uh, I, I dart back. Juggles is a madman. I'm not sure what what's happening. It is in this moment that you realize you're completely nude. And holding a donkey-headed Torvac. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and wearing squeaky clown shoes. <laughs> When the post fade, <laughs> all, all of a sudden, yeah, all of a sudden you feel yeah. silly. Post fade clarity. Yeah. Post, post fade clarity. Uh, uh, you shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> I walk over to one of the burned crates and sat down toward Beck. Oh, I start to press the dissertation, the grease off yeah. of my cat body. <laughs> I look around for my clothes. Oh, you put him in Chuckles' hat. Is it Chuckles or Chuckles's? Chuckles, I need my things back. <laughs> oh, it'll finally land. And as you do, you feel that the smack is your back smacks into into the ground, and. As Gricko, you almost see as the ghost of Chuckles is forcefully forced out of your body. And as Chuckles begins to float up in the air, he looks down at Gricko's body as they're separating and he's being sucked back to hell. I, uh, 
it, it'll look like uh, what is it, like Doctor Strange, where they get like, yeah. oh, and, so, like yeah. and so I'm like Aang from the finale, where my bat gets hit and yeah. then it jacks up. Oh, oh no, it's like the pigs. Oh, and I'll look down at Gricko and I'll look at Gideon and I'll say, Oh, I could get used to that. Oh, as, as Chuckles will fade. <laughs> oh, I forgot I have wine. Oh, oh that's too bad. <laughs> 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 and, so it's, and I'll land. Uh, where the fuck was that? I will go over, and presumably my uh, robe naked. and clothes have reemerged. <laughs> my robe's gone, and Chuckles is gone. In his hat to hell, and I'm totally nude in the Feywild. <laughs> Looks like. Can you take your shoes off yet, though? Maybe that robe was very important. <laughs> Maybe your shoes will come off, though. Now. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone have an extra set of clothes? Oh, oh. he and I start to take my... <laughs> no, 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 wait, 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 wait. No, I invented chicks. Look, I invented them. I've got clothes in my pack. Just a minute. No, no, I really I'm don't very upset. Any... <laughs> okay, well, I think they're kind of cool. What are you thinking? Yeah, they're... <laughs> Yeah, they're pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I could probably be rich. Oh. I could probably sell some chance, you know? You think you could sell chance? Yeah, maybe we just, you know, instead of the he whole problem. He looks so thing. beautiful when he's oh, talking about selling chance. Just, just <laughs> sparkling. Uh, no, I, oh, there must, is it the hair? Is it, is it just my, you having hair follicles? It's all this new thing for me. I don't know if it's the hair. I don't you know? know if it's the blood pumping through you. I don't know if it's just your brilliant chance <laughs> idea. Yeah. All I know is that you are... <laughs> One handsome creature. Well, I feel like now that I'm full of this and they, I just feel like I'm just, I don't know, like a, like a, like a different guy. Hey, hey, we're trying to talk over here, all right? <laughs> <laughs> we might be inventing chance. Hang on. You take one more point of damage oh, as she bites into you. I'll stand up and I'll say, Rusty, I don't <laughs> feel so. Bleh. And you'll hear, <laughs> as I puke up a bunch of like a, a colorful um, a circus peanuts. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> and with, with honking and squeaking, it'll fall on the ground. <laughs> and like, <laughs> and party favors, it'll just hit the ground and it's just this uh, gaudy, colorful mess. <laughs> Here we go. Are you all right? And you look up and you see a clown shoe wearing <laughs> towel wrapped around his waist, no upper body clothing garments whatsoever, and, and, and a really large backpack wearing frost. Are you all right? This has been a trying couple of minutes. <laughs> well, did Bragna Ross do all of that? No, it uh, uh, chuckles. Somehow he returns. <laughs> we probably shouldn't think too much about that and just continue on with the floor. You begin to feel your body change, Kremi. As you say this, your face elongates, your muscles shrink, you, um, your height decreases as you become Kremi LeCrew once more. What a stupid fucking idea. <laughs> I can mend that for you. I'm sorry you ripped your pants off in the anarchy. <laughs> and, well, and the rest of them, don't you need the other piece? They went and Chuckles had. Oh. Gideon, though uh, Kremi no longer looks like a summer Aladrin, he is still incredibly beautiful. And you, you were right. He was always beautiful. Maybe even more beautiful as Kremi. The real Kremi. Perfection. Oh, thank you, dude. I mean, it's hard not to, you know, develop a little bit of sort of, uh, I don't know, confusion after experiencing hair follicles and all. But, you know what? A drawn on mustache is just as good. And I'm going to, like, reapply it. Oh, let me get that for you. Let me get that for you. Let me get the lines right for you. Come here. Come You're going, oh, uh, get, you've never done that. You, uh, oh, it tickles a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, it's okay. You, you, you do need great. to be need you to. Doing, you doing, no, no, it's no, all, yeah, yeah, look at that. That's pretty good. Drawn with love. <laughs> <sighs> all right, kid, you know, uh, hopefully that was ironic. I'm like, turn and just sort of fix it a little bit. <laughs> that looks all right. Thanks, buddy. Anytime. Uh, Torbeck, are you feeling yourself again? You yeah. seem to have 
<laughs> Tormek is fine. No, no, no. You seem to have a head of a donkey. Uh, is that a euphemism? <laughs> Tormek's not very good with those. No, no, no. Look in the window just there. You can see your reflection. Oh. <laughs> Uh, this may be permanent, both the size and the donkey head thing. I'm... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tormek, I feel so sad for you. I don't know. I don't know how you got a donkey head, but why don't you ride on my my troll tooth, my troll tusk? What do we think about that? Not just another day for Tormek. Okay, Tormek, you look a little shaken up. <laughs> Oh, oh, why does my thumb hurt? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay, okay, I'll got you, Torbeck, got you, Torbeck. Why don't you ride, oh, and I'll, and I'll the, the large troll tusk that's around my, here, you kind of ride it like you came in like a wrecking ball, and I'll place Torbeck around uh, the necklace so we can grab onto the the two uh, threads and, and look through as he sits on the troll tusk. Grigo, just make sure that he's totally secure. Even from your height, that would be a fall of perhaps 200 feet. He'd hit the ground like a burlap sack full of vegetables. Let me get him! Let me get him! No! Oh, hey, hey, calm down! Oh, okay. Oh, well, thank you. That was very Welcome. responsive. I'm not turning into a toad, unfortunately. You wanted to turn into a were-toad and kill oh, all of us? No. I don't want to kill anybody, but it would be kind of cool to be a toad. It would be cool to be a it's toad. It's very I cool. Could, I'm a toad quite often. It's quite I nice. I hop, and I could eat flies with my tongue. Oh. And people would lick me. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that's never happened. That's never happened to me personally. But I could introduce you to the great spirit Winky. I think he might be able to teach you a thing or two. He's got three cool. eyes and tentacles. Yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah, you probably hop around with Winky. Sorry, yeah. I bit you. Oh, it's okay. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> just now, I don't know, kid. That looks pretty bad. Oh, that's just a flesh wound. <laughs> I think these frog fellas have like a. I don't know, hospital or something? Probably not. I'm not sorry I bit you, though, Grico, because you're a horrible abomination clown monster. Yes, you did turn into a horrible abomination clown monster. Wait, somehow Chuckles returned? <laughs> yes, somehow. <laughs> How? We saw this old witch light. Torbeck! Torbeck! Oh, sorry! Oh, oh. Torbeck! <laughs> Toba, I hope I, did, I hope I didn't. I hope I didn't blow out your eardrums. A roll yeah. of dexterity saving throw for me, please. Me? Yeah. Oh, I'm about to get a little bit of crushed by Toba. <laughs> oh, it's quite good. I'm gonna dread it. Oh, it's not. Oh no, it's not as good. No, it's <laughs> good. <laughs> All according to plan. Maybe. I'm gonna get some Toba butt in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> dexterity saving throw, you say? Yeah. That'll be a 13. Yeah. You um, you were saying that you're yelling down at Torbeck as he's covering his donkey ears, as you're screaming at him. And as you go to lower your voice and repeat what you were saying, Torbeck, you feel your body change. As all of a sudden, in the blink of an eye, you go from being a mere like six inches tall to your full height. But you had been sitting up, uh, atop uh, Gricko's necklace, and you immediately um, sl slam into him as you uh, essentially uppercut him with the force of your growing body. Gricko, you feel he's got a glass jaw. Oh, <laughs> you feel your consciousness almost leave you with the force of uh, Torbeck's growth. <laughs> that sounds awful. <laughs> wow! Somebody quote that. Torbeck. Somebody quote that right <laughs> away. <laughs> I took I took uh, to Torbeck's back, baby. Fifty shades of fake Fuck. You do not fully transform. The donkey head is still present atop your body. Torbeck is fully grown. Yeah. Fully grown. You broke Gringo's nose. Oh no. And I'll jump up immediately. Oh, Gringo. Uh, I took the full force of 
Dobby's groove right on the face. Dobby is so sorry. Also, peanut oh. blood and like there's some circus peanuts and like rainbow glitter. Oh, oh. oh why are your eyes watering? Uh. Uh, you, you can buy my carnival snow cone anywhere. Uh. Uh. I would try to gingerly help you up. Dobby uh. uh. is sorry, Greg. Uh. Uh. No, I, I I feel fine. Thank you, Tobek. Oh, you you don't look fine. What do you What do you mean? How do I look? <laughs> like you usually do, I guess. Yeah, after you've been hit in the face. It's yeah. okay, Tobek. You didn't know you were gonna get such a sudden growth all of a sudden. <laughs> you thought it would hit me in the face. <laughs> I have severe. That kind of thing's pretty hard to predict. <laughs> 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 Sometimes it just happens, you know. Uh, everything I understand. I think I think I understand. But... I miss my robe. It hit all that quite naturally. <laughs> uh, I mean, speaking of that, try to think back, Greco, to when you were chuckles. Do you remember what happened in our clothes? Yeah. Did he have any kind of? You are staring at Crummy as he says this. His body mostly uncovered. Oh, just oh, his oh, chance. Right. I just got some chance on. <laughs> just his chance. I'm bent to As you begin to see him for what he truly <laughs> is. A conniving, thieving alligator man. Wow. And yet wow. you realize <laughs> you still love him. And the love increases. Oh, I, yeah, the love the, increases. All of my favorite character <laughs> attributes. Oh. Well, I don't think I put my cane in the hat. Let me look. Can I look around for, to see if my cane's still in the? Yeah, it was just your clothes. That yeah, it was not in the hat. hat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so right. I, I, it's still there. I would find it mm-hmm. on the floor. Our clothes have been consumed <laughs> by an eldritch clown. This is disturbing to me. I spent many years of my life earning that robe, and now it's gone. Mm. What do I remember? What does Grico remember? About oh. what? About when, what was Gricko's mind feeling when I got slooped by? You, it was very similar to what Frost felt, where you were a passenger inside of your head. You watched it all happen, but there was nothing you could do to stop it. It was almost as if you were um, in a dark room watching watching this through a window, and you were frozen in place. Yeah, I, unable to pilot your flesh suit. Oh, I mean, I felt myself start to change, and it was like I was in like a, a dark room with like stars and can- there were literally stars and canaries flying around my head, mm-hmm. and I couldn't do nothing other than feel my benevolence <clears throat> to all me best mates. Did you get any kind of insights into anything he might have been thinking? That so that was chuckles, Ooh. man. That's a uh, that's just always haunting me, and I get the sense. He's got something cooked up. I get the sense that he's not just out playing tricks, but something's coming. Yeah, he's dealing with shit way beyond his ability. I mean, I heard mostly <laughs> endlessly, but I'm, I'll try what to. I'll it try, mean? Let me try. It's very fuzzy. It's very, especially after getting tall back to the face. Oh, uh, Greg! Oh, that sounds hee haw and terrible. <laughs> I, I, I remember. I remember this as well, Grico. I uh, when I was stuck in the mind, I heard it was sort of more of a like that. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I think back. Was there anything that I could I can think back to remember from to answer Gideon's question? What was Gideon's question? <laughs> um, if he had uh, being controlled by uh, Chuckles, if he had gotten any kind of like look into his mind to get like his true intentions or if he has anything planned if he's like learned anything about chuckles at all um roll an intelligence yeah i don't want to say Check. anything that i shouldn't say is what i'm saying <laughs> i'm gonna twist that because i'm a little curious i'm gonna i think that's pretty good thanks, thanks for the twist everybody thanks for the twist, Thank you, the twist. intelligence you say mm-hmm. that'll be a 15. There were moments where you, it was almost as if if your thoughts mixed and intermingled. And the feelings that were building up in chuckles, you felt them as if they were your own. An immense hatred for Gideon specifically. A, A type of evil unlike any evil you've ever felt, just emanating 
<clears throat> from the mind of this being. And there was a moment where you saw surrounding Chuckles, seven shadowy figures. But that was it. Uh, I mean, there was like, uh, I mean, it was Chuckles and he was not very kind thinking very kind thoughts was a little macabre if you ask me mm -hmm. uh towards gideon and i was just like oh me best mates oh no nothing bad can happen to them please oh. and that's all i was thinking as i was here like blah, 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 blah. but it was like oh shadowy it was like it was i was expecting you like oh you were saying like oh it's clown hell but it wasn't all fiery and <laughs> it was it was more like silhouettes silhouettes it was shadows wreathed in flame it was it was dark shadows and it was like, uh, I don't know, it, it kind of reminded me of like uh, Krimis. I mean, what he's doing is And there's the seven, there's, there's, there's eight of them. Eight, eight, eight figures. What does that mean? I don't know. And he's fixing to, to do unkind things, if you ask me. Well, we know that eight's relevant to the Witchlight Carnival, right? I was right? just going to say that. And wait, if the Witchlight in our blood and in that we got from who knows where... I did that to us. No offense, Torbert. <laughs> <laughs> and what if it means? What if? How does this? How does it affect? How does Chuckles have anything to do with the witch light? I don't know, but it always felt like an unstoppable force and an immovable object on a path to collide with each other, and that we've always kind of needed each other, but we were building towards a point where one of us was gonna die. Oh. Oh, Man. it sounds like a... It would be a very epic kind of rivalry story if one wasn't a clown. Yeah. And yeah. I think that's where we'll take a coffee break. Ooh! Oh. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh. Coffee break! Do we, do we feel better about going into this session? You are all standing inside of the, uh, the burned balloon factory. <sighs> and you have made no progress. That's true. <laughs> For the past few oh, hours. Oh, Torbeck's a donkey now. It's true. Tor yeah. Torbeck is his normal size, but he still has his donkey head. Though the rest of you seem to have shaken off uh, whatever f strange fey magics have overcome you. Frost, you are missing core parts to your traveling kit. You so willingly gave them to Chuckles the Clown when he inhabited Draco's body. Yes, I am standing here in a towel, <laughs> just a little greasy. That's all. Look, you, oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, no, please. Oh, you sure you don't want these shants? I mean, I do have some some briefs under here. No, I have double rolled it. I think it'll stay on. I just feel <laughs> I feel a swampy breeze. Uh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, I that mean, if you're nice. offering to give away your pants, Torbeck will take them. No, I mean, I'm gonna keep them all. I'm just trying to help Frost stay decent outside of a towel. Perhaps okay. we'll find a merchant where I can purchase an additional set of clothes. I'm just... That robe was irreplaceable. I hope that we find some way to get it back from Chuckles. I... I mean, all of my clothes went in there too. Look, maybe it was some sort of portal and just like placed them somewhere else around the room. Well, we were looking for the embers, which we never resolved from two and a half hours ago. So <laughs> perhaps we'll find the, the clothes somewhere in the, in the vicinity. Let's well, split it. Oh, well, I was just going to say, in the meantime, we could probably take one of these uh, here non functional balloons and just like uh, cut up some of the cloth and make you like a poncho or something. Will you, Dr. Frosty? I know you're feeling down about losing your very precious, hard-earned robes, but would that make you feel a little bit better? I mean, huh? it's not quite the tailoring of the robes you had, but, you know, I could do something. And that's a lot less meaning about your journey, your growth as a, as a, as a, as a, an individual and also a psionic user. Where yeah. was it that you put, that Chuckles put uh, Frost stuff? All on his hat. Stuff? Yeah, All his, his, hat. his magic yeah. portal hat. <laughs> <laughs> um, Greco... Can I see your hat? Oh, I don't have a hat. Oh. <laughs> Where'd Chuckles get his hat? I don't know. From the clown store? Is that a thing? <laughs> well, it might have been clown college. He's always talking about clown college. It might be like a graduation gift or something. I thought you had a cool hat that made you look like Indiana Jones from that major image. 
Oh no, I mean, I thought about that, but then Kremi made fun of me so much that I, that I stopped wearing it. That's right. I, 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 threw, I threw that in the dumpster a long time he ago. He put like teeth around it and he thought it looked real cool. I thought it looked very cool. Oh, more like crocodile than me. Yeah, yeah, I thought it looked quite handsome. I thought I pulled it off and then Kremi just would make fun of me every time I walked by and I just, oh. I threw it, I threw it away. That's kind of messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Grigo, you're sure you don't have Kremi and my uh, things on your person in any... You don't have a hat of any sort? I hope I didn't swallow it. I feel like oh, this is this peanut-shaped confection. <clears throat> uh, I mean, I don't think I have a hat. Let me dig around in here. I usually like to kind of have the, the locks flow and speak for themselves. Oh, no, you have that hat when you try to relate to Hootsie. And you put it on sideways. Don't you have that? You have one of those hats, right? I want to have that hat. <laughs> and I will, I will go and I will reach in and I will uh, pull out the uh, the extremely early '90s uh, base fantasy equivalent of a baseball cap. And in, into my pack. Oh, this one! Oh, oh gosh! Let me see it. Oh, it looks so nice. Yeah, she looks just like a hat. And you see, as she starts to put it on, and she begins to disappear. And you, you can hear the loud clinking noises and things rummaging around. Uh, she tosses out a um, a couple of thimbles. Um, she pulls out a uh, a picture frame with a stock photo of a cute goblin family. Um, oh. She. Uh, a, can a couple of candlesticks, a few bits of um, wooden silverware and bowls, and eventually you begin to see clothes. Frost, your robe, your pants, your shoes, <sighs> Kremi, your items. Oh, thank God. Huh. Grickle, you're so silly, you didn't even realize this is a hat of holding! And she tosses it to you, you can add a bag of holding to your inventory. Oh! <laughs> Chuckles gave me magic! <laughs> Chuckles, I know you're a horrible, diabolical clown mastermind now, but thank you. Uh, do you think that he has access to the portal at any time? Probably not. We don't need to worry about it. <laughs> I'm sure that we don't want to put some wine in there just in case, kind of like leaving milk out for... Ooh, like a, like a, like a gnome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or a kobold. Here. I'll put a bottle of wine inside. Or a brown. You put the bottle of wine inside the hat of holding and you immediately hear the sound of a honk. As it echoes. <laughs> oh, that's not ominous or anything. <laughs> oh. Oh. You should put that hat away. I shouldn't wear it. No, no, I'm worried that you'll <laughs> fall into it. If you if you try to put it on, you're just, just going to disappear um, into your feet. Well, when I was inside of it, it was just filled with a bunch of garbage. Um, there were some rabbit bones in there. Um, there were a bunch of streamers. Um, oh. Yeah, I don't think they were making very much money on Twitch either. That kind of sucked. Um, there were also um, some balloons. Oh. Um, I think. Oh, a pinwheel. Yeah, some pinwheels. They were really dusty. <laughs> oh. oh god! Ah! <laughs> Dust is going all over the place. Oh, another news. Couple While of I was... kaleidoscopes. While I was looking for my clothes, I found that fire elemental's wallet. And uh, all there is was in here was a two dollar bill, but his name was Ragna Ross. It's a stupid name. That, oh, that is a stupid name. Oh yeah, look. And I'll go through some other cards. How did this guy become a paleontology professor at twenty four? Doesn't make any sense. And I just <laughs> throw it into the swamp. So Twin <laughs> grabs it and she's like, "Oh, it says this lost return to Ragna Rachel." Huh. Huh. Oh well. Probably not one. Yeah. He probably has a huge, expensive apartment that he almost certainly can't afford. <laughs> <laughs> Rent control, you know. Oh, that, that's how they explain everything. Yes. <laughs> uh, well, I'm uh, gonna reach down and uh, I'll, I'll push off the the clown bits and the mag the Magnum condoms, and I'll I'll pick up my uh, my my robe and I'll shake it free and I'll press the digitation it and clean it. There's a spider attached to it. It's just hanging out. You hey, buddy! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were lucidly conscious. Of it. Never mind. <laughs> you mind fixing these? And I hold up my chance and the two like ripped pant legs. It'll take just a moment. Uh, lay them out here as if they would be together. I lay them out. Okay. I mend them. Well, now that we've gone through that horror show, why is your head still donkey like? <laughs> Dormac doesn't know. Huh, that sucks. What are we gonna do now? Huh. Well, we, we, 
<laughs> we need to meet with the king now that Frosty has been appointed nobility. Your nobility? Don't I look like a nobility in this fine robe? Well, now that you're not naked, you look more noble than you did before. Oh, and the fly char- brooch is uh, well, the fly brooch is back. No, we still got we, we got to find this illit guy. He's the bear in a muck stump. <laughs> we totally forgot about this. The revolution lives. I'm so confused. Didn't he, the fella tell us to go meet with the king, or we supposed to go do that first? Uh, I mean, we got to do both at some point. So you know, oh. either way, we got to do one or the other. Let's stop by the gazebo. We're yeah, not very the, far from the gazebo. Well, the brooch was supposed to get us an audience with the king or something. Yes. Um, hey guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, Tor- 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 Torbeck doesn't want to be a downer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Never. <laughs> but, uh, Torbeck is slightly concerned about this. And, <laughs> and he reaches into his pack and he pulls out the bloody blue scarf. Has anybody said anything about Agden being missing? <laughs> Uh, oh no! None, none, none of the people seem aware of his uh, untimely design. Oh, good. Let's never speak of that again. <laughs> no, no, that makes you, that makes you royalty. Yo. Uh, Torbeck isn't sure that Torbeck can handle that responsibility. Yeehaw. But I was just wondering if it was pertinent. Yeehaw. That's, that's good, Grico. We have to establish some sort of normalcy. Yeehaw. Yeah, it's quite it's quite a you know a, addictive. Yeehaw. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's it's almost infectious. Yeehaw. Mm-hmm. I, I think Torbeck. Yeehaw. You are <laughs> royalty, and you are now the brigand prince of Prism. Yeehaw. But uh. he how? <laughs> <laughs> well, he how? It seemed as if the heron gone rabbits uh, were a a a uh, a uniquely uh, ruled society, not under the uh, monarchical. Uh, uh, fiefdom of the soggy court, and thus by proxy, uh. Uh, uh, Blightstraw, Blavorn of Blightstraw, hee Uh, and it seemed as if they had a monarchy, uh, that was rooted, uh, not necessarily in blood, but perhaps by, uh, a right of combat, and so, uh, and conquest, and so by the right of conquest and not blood, you have deposed their leader, hee uh, and therefore, uh, have taken up the mantle, uh, represented by that scarf, hee as the new brigand prince of Prismere, hee Oh, he wow! <laughs> Thanks for that, Greco. I think that's what I think. I could be entirely wrong, y'all. <laughs> well, lead the way, y'all. <laughs> I propose that you wear it. It may be a sign of uh, power, uh, and we just have to make our way across these, uh, well, this bridge that I believe is quite dangerous, and then we will find a gazebo where the king resides. Well, Frost, Tormek is certainly no attorney, but that seems <laughs> like I. W- Torbeck would be incriminating himself. In, in, incrimination of, of of taking power, yes. Of, uh, of, 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 uh, right of conquest. The, the mantle of authority. Well, no, I mean, Torbeck's got a, got the right idea. We know that this brigand fella, he was working for the, for the hag. So she might be <clears throat> not too pleased that he's dead. Or uh, unless he presents himself as a very l- reliable ally. Or, but what if... What if this brigand prince who stole a lot of stuff stole things from, like, the king or other people here and seeing that scarf makes them angry? Hee-haw. Uh, huh? Hee-haw. We're trying to make Torbeck not what? feel like he's, you know, you, so... You, you finished your sentences with hee-haw. So, oh, Torbeck, yeah, yeah, you know. So oh, what if it would make them angry, hee-haw? Torbeck's getting uh, mixed signals, hee <laughs> Uh, keep it in your pack. <laughs> but... It's important that you have it in uh, easily accessible if we need to use it to intimidate, perhaps. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice idea, hee haw. Thank you, hee haw. Uh, but uh, your Torbeck isn't always so quick on the uptake, so Frost, maybe give Torbeck a knowing look, or Mr. Crammy can say. Torbeck, you no, you'll, stupid you'll, you'll, idiot, do something. <laughs> you'll hear my mind, uh, my voice in your mind, hee-haw. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. 
So what are we gonna do? Oh uh, well, I got Yuck. a tw- I got a twenty three on investigation for the embers about two oh. and a half hours ago. Yeah. And I- <laughs> <laughs> we all got dreaded as you were investigating. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah he- <laughs> Uh, the embers are all gone. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're all gone. We, they're, they're, they, must they, have been that, they must be in the lake. Oh, we've destroyed them, I believe. I feel like yeah, they're... you threw them in the lake. You know? Well, certainly. I just didn't know if they were going to be any embers left over. They all they all slooped together like a hive mind of yeah, fire. They created Ragnar Ross and Ragnar Marcel, his monkey companion. <laughs> I miss that one. Uh, I would have loved to have seen a charming monkey uh, that was made of fire. That would have been quite nice. No, he gets put on the bus, so I guess, plane real quick. Oh. Yeah, apparently the actor behind Ragnar Ross really hated that monkey. <laughs> well, also, the Ragnar monkey was unpredictable. <laughs> Very difficult to work. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, uh, oh, he said, "Oh, we got to kill the fucking monkey." <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, now that we have discovered that there's no further investigation for Ragnaros, let us. Oh, we need to decide if we're going to the gazebo or this new person. Oh, oh we're to the gazebo. And can I? Just I start um, out. Can I put a? Um... A request out to all of our fan artists. If you could create Ragnar Ross and Ragnar Rachel, the their meet cute or oh, their no. um, their first date, I would really love that. It would make me very happy. So if any of you feel like you can tackle that challenge, you'd have my utmost respect. So no one told you your life was going to be this Ragnar way. <laughs> Hee-haw. Uh, Hee-haw. Hee-haw. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Your job's a joke. You're a Ragnabro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yes. uh, I love you guys. Uh, I love you too. Oh, boy. Okay, oh, so baby. Oh, oh Grimmy's leaving. Let's go. Oh, I, don't, I, don't, I just want to feel included. I don't know anything about oh, Schmins. I'm out the door. You, oh, you step out of the smoldering building that is the balloon factory, and it does look like now that the embers are no longer burning that the smoke is slowly starting to clear away the building itself no longer seems to be perpetually on fire and that with time and the moisture in the air that this building will once again eventually be able to be claimed for its true purpose to build more of the balloons uh you don't see any sign of the bullywug that had been here with you knowing that he finally went to get some sleep having stayed up for far too long mm. um, trying to keep this building from going up in flames. And you are met with the soggy ground of downfall. You look back the way that you that you came and off in the distance you can see the balloon that um, Uf, uh, Ufgunk. Uf <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh yeah, you were, yeah, yeah, yeah. You were, you were tiny at that point. Yeah, it was the effects of the Fomorian spittle that you chomped on. Yeah. Yeah, we met um, a fellow named Uff Gunk. Yeah. Oh, uh, you... <laughs> That's questionable. <laughs> also, we should probably no, tell No, I was going to tell him it's goblin slaying. I thought we'd make it too <laughs> weird. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe he has his name? I, mean, I, I, told, I told him it was a goblin name. <laughs> we should probably tell him about the Bosco Pops or whatever the fucking. It's Uff Gunk Earl of Stinkwater. Um... Oh, that's what he's very apropos. Oh, you guys are never gonna believe this, but that's Torbeck's name too. <laughs> uh, uh, but you you look off back the way you came and you see the um, you see the balloon that was in disrepair and you can see still on his ladder Uff Gunk the Earl of Stinkwater continuing his repairs and it looks like it's coming along quite nicely. Um, no. Off the other direction, however, you see the rickety bridge that you were told about, the bridge that you were warned about, and it is shrouded in fog. As the as the wind rolls in and brings the fog with it, it's it looks precarious. But off in the distance past it, you can hear the sounds of jubilant music, laughter, and you can see just peeking through the fog, 
bits and pieces of what is presumably the gazebo where you imagine you will find King Gullop the 19th. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to do this whole like fake royalty thing, or we're just going to go up there and have a little chat? Oh, uh, yes. That's a sort of a one of the other type of questions. You can't just say yes. No, Frosty shows off his new handsome fly and it's going to... And then we just say, hey, we'd like to check. It's I both. love that Andy oh, thank has you. no idea what's going on. <laughs> Tormix just happy to be here. <laughs> you know, I was just about to say, we need to explain what Bosco is. Oh, and as you breathe in the uh, the air outside, you begin to feel your head return. Oh, oh. thank my God. <laughs> oh, I was kind of getting used to that dip. Uh, what the fuck you keep saying? Saying Bosco, Bunko, fuck. Oh, Bunko. Oh yes. Oh, anyway. like Bunko Pops. I can't wait to get my drag queen Bunko Pops. I'm really, you know, I'm just quite worried about the legitimacy of one of them. You know, there's a lot of subtext whenever you hear the word Bunko that you probably won't even begin to understand. So there's a few he if you hear the word Bunko. Yeah, do you have any Bunko pops? Just uh, I have some of drag queens. Sorbeck's not sure, but this one guy wouldn't shut up about Richard and Mortimer. <laughs> <laughs> and Sorbeck didn't know what any of it meant. I don't know. I've never heard That's about really Richard good. Mortal. Mortimer before, but have you, have you seen the one of Pickle Dicks? Oh, that's what <laughs> Meg is interested in. Uh, I still can't believe that Neil became a multi-millionaire with his stupid Bunko Pop collection. And he said, oh, you gotta hustle, bro. You gotta keep the hustle and the grind and you gotta collect and all, because it gets useless. I can't believe he's Look, made a you, fool of me. If you hear anyone mention the word Bunko, just smile and, and nod along, all right? You know okay. what would be really cool? If we could get the limited edition Balrog with piece of bridge. Oh, wow, the one with piece of bridge is pretty good. Yeah, it looks exactly what? like Balrog without piece of bridge, but the difference is this one has a piece of bridge. Well, I mean, I only have one, so, I mean... I'm getting very upset right now. Would you, would you and trade? I'm usually quite good-natured. <laughs> would you trade for mine for yours? You don't have one! I don't, I don't have Balrog with Beast the Bridge. I just really want it. Oh, oh, all right. Yeah. Well... Every time I go on Fay Bay, I always check the auctions to see if there's a Balrog with piece of bridge, but it's always sold out first. They always and have regular Balrog. Oh, I bid on one once, and I was like, wow, this is a great deal. No one bid against me, but I didn't meet the reserve price. Why even do that, man? Yeah, Why not ridiculous. just put it up for the price you want for it and let people go above that? Were you accessing this uh, Fay Bay on the information super high Fay? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. What? Uh, yeah. You, wouldn't... you know what? I don't have one of those things that, that shrouds my eyes pixie from people finding out who I am or what I am. Mm. So if I go into a, a cafe and to get some coffee, I really worry people are going to steal my identity. Oh, well, it looks like you might need NordVPN, our new sponsor. <laughs> NordVPN. Oh, NordVPN, if you're gonna say, everybody. Yeah, follow the link yeah. in the description yeah. and, and, and use a code Avantress. 29. No. We, they're not our sponsor. No. So you're welcome, NordVPN. Yeah, it's sponsored. They did reach out to us, though. <laughs> they did. They did. So you know, a couple days ago, what the fuck? Torment could do a really good quip. Uh, Torment needs toothbrushes. Uh, anyways, let us continue. Yes, discussing oh, yeah, Bungo sorry. Pops, we make Yeah, yeah, I'm just, while we're doing this, I'm just going to think about Balrog with, with piece of bread. I think in this world it might be Balor to make it legally distinct, because I believe a certain estate is quite persnickety about things. <laughs> Are they? Yeah, have you ever met a hobbit? A what? See? Exactly right. Mm. <laughs> I think you mean... That's from way older editions ago. I think you ago. mean a halfling. Oh, that's exactly right. Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, we know what halflings are. They're, they're, they're all over the place. Yeah, I know. And they, they love quarter breakfast. <laughs> Completely distinct. Oh, yeah. exactly right. We continue across the bridge yeah, towards yeah. the gazebo. Well, we, towards we the have music. to be very careful as we cross this bridge. 
Why? We were oh, warned to stay, stay on the, the southern side. side. Oh, southern side. Southern side, yes. Oh, oh, sure? Those I, I are opposites. Down. Are we sure? <laughs> are we sure we stay on the southern side and not stay away from the no, southern side? No, I think side? we got to stay on the northern side. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I mean, that's yeah. like a coin flip. <laughs> what what happens someone, if we get it wrong? Does somebody want to flip a coin and like I wrote, they I decide? Wrote wooden bridge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that, good that's say. good enough for me. I go. I guess go down the uh, the southern side. Wait. <laughs> I'm ninety percent confident that it was the fucking south. Oh, side. he he flipped a coin which has a one. So southern side it is. That's not how you flip a coin, Frosty. You got to call it first. No, no, no I flipped it. That's not how it so works. So we're gonna split up, and one of us goes on the north side, and one goes on the south side. Oh, I mean, we should all work. commit to a side. If we get it wrong and we all die, we should all die together. Yes, let's commit to the okay, same side. Yeah, then, what do you think? Well, yeah, Gideon, think... you haven't said much lately. <laughs> Well, I think we should go to the southern side. Though, as smart as he is, Frosty's always got kind of an approximate knowledge of many things. You know? So I was talking about Bosco and Zendaya. And, you know, it's hard to really like lean into him. You when guys he have to something. fucking pretend over here that I'm the smartest Frost, all right? You fucks. Oh, God, does, does Frost remember northern or southern? I would, I would ask to make I'll an roll an intelligence check. Uh, well, gosh. It's probably worth noting whatever side Torment goes on will be the wrong <laughs> side, so you might want to hedge your bets. Well, gosh. That's where I'm a mind head. Uh, intelligence, you say? Mm-hmm. Oh, I love that. mind head. <laughs> Welcome to mine. I'm gonna twist it. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna dread it. Oh, no. I'm gonna dread it. Oh. Okay. You just roll again. I'll just roll again, and I'll take That's, the lower of the two yeah. values. Yeah, it's gonna be. Uh, I'll, I'll take a nine on that. <laughs> you are positive. It was the north side. Oh, oh shit. You're right. I remember now that it was the northern side. See? Thank you, Kremi, for reminding I, I me. I fucking told wait, you, wait, wait, wait. You're you very convincing. You were always such a persuasive person. What happens if we're wrong? Well, oh. Tobik, why don't you go to the southern side? Oh. And, and then we'll cause keep, you, keep your bad luck no, away from us. No, look, there's a 50% chance we all survive. I'd rather all of us survive together. What do you think? Oh, great idea. Cool, Tobik, come with us. You still haven't answered if death is the consequence. Oh, no, no. no. Much, much worse than death. <laughs> yeah, it was very vague. <laughs> oh. It was more of a vaguely oh, ominous no. friend. Well, wait. I think wait, North is good or North is bad? North is good and North Ooh, is bad. Okay. I, Pardon me. <laughs> based on my nine, North is good, Kremi. Oh, all right. Okay, so you're agreeing with me. See? You're well, so what if you did, All you said is you remember North. What if you're just remembering that the North is bad? Well, that's, that was what I was well, asking. Well, moments ago, Ow. I thought that Southern side was safe, but <laughs> based on my roll of nine, I feel that we should all stick to the North. I agree. Side. Frosty, Guys. that's why you had a smart one. Frost is the oh, smartest man. person that Tormek has ever met. There's no way that this can go wrong. That's why, I mean, we're a balanced team, right? That's Frosty right. is the brains of the operation. Well, we always listen to him we, and it always works out. We keep him around. All right, well, Tormek is convinced. <sighs> yeah, the All right. part that is. You know, Frost, you're so confident, why don't you lead the way? My pleasure, <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> Oh, God. I didn't get my fucking shoes back. All I've got is these fucking Magnum condoms in my robe. Torbeck was sure Mr. Grummy was going to make him go first. Uh, I clown shoe my way on the northern side of the fucking wooden bridge. We follow behind, I guess. The fog swirls around you as you make your way towards the bridge. The, as the day progresses, the wind is getting stronger as it is swirling through this valley between the breaks and the Queen's Way. And you make your way forward. This flat wood plank bridge, which spans an arm of the lake, is lined on one side by rows of bullywug heads on wooden spikes. Mm. <laughs> At the center of the bridge, a small figure sits with its feet dangling over one side. The figure appears to be talking to itself in bemoaned tones. But then the severed bullywug heads nearby erupt in a cacophony of voices, some indignant, others sympathetic. A few in a more distant row yell, What? I couldn't hear what they said. What did you, did you hear that? Now you shut up. I'm tired of listening to you complain. I hear somebody walking. You shut up. Nobody wants to listen to you anymore. You failed before the rest of us. Well, you failed too, didn't you? So you be quiet and gallops next. 
as they all begin to yell and chatter each other. All the other. heads are just stationary, but like looking at, each, at other. each other and screaming, mm-hmm. and they can they can vocalize. Yeah. Oh fuck! That's that. a nightmare. As soon as this happens, and this is all on the north side of the bridge. <laughs> as soon as this happens, the absolutely massively tall Urbeck <coughs> will like shrink down behind. Gricko and like be very visibly scared and unsettled and horror and like is like trying to like shrink up almost behind you to, to try to be uh, small and like take cover. Uh, uh, Torbeck is terrified. Uh, oh, this is I saw this in my vision. Now everyone just stick to the side with the head. And who are you? Oh, uh, ha- 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 hello. My name is Morning Frost, and uh, we're here to cross this bridge safely. How are you? <laughs> I'm a head on a stick. Uh, are you perhaps um, one of the previous rulers of this uh, city? Queen Ribita the Third. Ah, uh, yes, that 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 makes sense. Uh, is, is there any secret? Uh... It's pronounced Ribita, and I know I was the first. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Uh, how are you still alive? I'm not. I'm dead, clearly. Well, I mean, uh, how are you able to talk and think for yourself? Oh, I bemoan quietly to myself. You're not an author, you know. (laughs) Shut up! I can be whatever I want. I'm dead. (coughs) This is my lot in life. It is all of our lot in life, and soon it will be Gullub's as well. Oh, yes. I hear that there's a coup happening. Oh. oh, do you? Yes, someone was walking shortly shortly after that um, strange little scarecrow thing came this way, and there was some, some thing, something about an illig. Oh, a coup. We all love a coup. Yes, I do love a coup. Illig, you say? See the bear in a muck stump? Oh, yes. That would be him. Seems like a pretty bad dude. You know where he lives or hangs out at? King Crokington the 14th, at your service. Oh, we'll murder him in his sleep. I've already been murdered, good sir. How did it feel? (laughs) It happened so quickly, I... Did you all, did did you like get... I don't quite remember. Did you get uh, guillotined? Or is this more of a a not quite as on the nose uh, uh, homage to the French Revolution? I was standing... Looking, I was standing on the second floor of the castle, looking out over my domain, and I felt a knife twist in my back. Oh. Oh, and you deserved it, too, you little shit. I only reigned for a day after before I then met my end. Were you the one who twisted the knife? Of course I was. So you... I should have been queen. Hmm. So who stabbed you in the back? Oh, he's over there sleeping. Oh, so and you you, sort of you, killed you each hear other. off to the end. <laughs> ribbit, 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 ribbit. <laughs> ribbit, well, ribbit, just ribbit, 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 ribbit. I guess. Man, this is all kinds of fucked up. <laughs> yeah, what is what is Gringo always say? This is kind of macabre. It's a little macabre yeah, for my taste, macabre. if you ask me. Absolutely. <laughs> well, this it's just how it is. Hey guys. Yes. Yeah. Are are they talking about our friend Clapperclaw? Oh, yeah, clapper claw. Yeah, yeah. But no, there's a coop afoot. But, 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 oh, yes. Cool, all right. Apparently, there's a coop afoot. Yeah, coop afoot. Yes. Also, a coup. Illig. No, a it's, coo- prona- wait, it's a- pronounced coop. There's a P in it. I do know that. And there's also a coop afoot? Like a, like, like, a, like turtle soup sort of deal? Like, like the feet of turtles? Is that what you're talking no, about? No, it's a coop. Like a political... <laughs> that sounds like estimate. a delicious dish. But I can't eat. I'm dead. The P is silent. It's pronounced coo. What? Yes. <laughs> it's also oh. pronounced macabre. Let's just get it out there. I mean, we've ignored it for like eight years. It's not called... It's not pronounced Mac. It ends with an R and an E. Yeah, but it's sort of, you know, it's sort of that, that Agway dialect. You pronounce it macabre. I corrected you the first time, and then I just stopped <laughs> correcting you. Yeah, yeah, you know, so this... That was one of my favorite <laughs> words. You know, helping some people. Well, you can keep saying macabre, and we won't correct you. Oh, but the wanna... sounds so stupid. Uh, various, uh, <laughs> uh, dead heads. Do you know who currently rules, and what you mean by coup? Uh, what is the... W- what is the news of the... Power? Oh, yes. <laughs> King Gullop the 19th is mm. the current ruler. Mm-hmm. Okay. And apparently this idiot... Illig fellows planning on 
ending his reign. Okay. Well, hang on. I mean, it sounds like uh, the reign's always ended by the person. Where who sets are it. my notes? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Having no hands makes it very difficult <laughs> to do anything with oh, notes. Dude, take your time. I'm blown away that you're able to produce sound, given that you have no lungs. While she's looking. <laughs> Clapper Claw, why did they come through here? Are we following them? Are they okay? Oh, what oh, do they notes. have with royalty? You, you, I think you are. Uh, you see up. the figure of what you imagine to be Clapper Claw, <gasps> shrouded in fog, about uh, halfway, maybe three quarters of the way across the bridge. Um, oh. Their feet are dangling over the side of the bridge. Oh, um, their head hung low as they um, look uh, somberly off. In, into the distance, facing the heads, facing north. Well, that's serendipitous. Perhaps we should approach. Has he always been there? Uh, yes. There, there was a figure. In the initial description, there was someone with their legs dangling oh. that we could have approached at any point, but we started talking to these uh, I'm imagining disgusting the hell. heads. We saw somebody standing there, and then all these cut-off heads of Bullywug started shouting and screaming. They're indeed very other. distracting. It was pretty fucking unsettling. Do you, all, do you all have, like, souls, or is this, like, is it you, or is it, like, an, an echo? What? Is it like you there? Is it like is it like? Well, it, it's like, been my head for as long as I've had one. I think what he's trying to say is that this seems like an eternity of torment, and would you like the sweet release of oblivion? Oh, yes. oh if only. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> we could we could have Gideon here crush you like a pumpkin. I think he was just asking the age old question: What does it mean to be Bullywug? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, From what that's I a good question. <laughs> Prince. Toddington. Oh. Yes, that was his name. Sure, yes, it was. Mm -hmm. Prince Toddington was knocked off of his stick, and he's still talking at the bottom of the lake. Well, but oh. was he crushed as a pumpkin, by, uh, and totally destroyed? By a big strong man. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but I would prefer a fate of this than to become pumpkin stew. It's like bootstrap well, bill. Never giving it a try. So, <laughs> yeah. How do you know it's preference? Don't knock it till you try it. Yeah. Well, I have no hands. Can't stop you, but please don't. Do you? Uh, we gotta go. We gotta move How on. about a, a vat of acid? We could probably find no. one of those. Oh, and no. Oh, no. Do you still no. feel? Do you, do you, do you, if I touched your face, would you have a sensation? Why don't you try, kitty cat? Uh, oh, gosh, no. <laughs> just one moment. Just one no, moment. No, 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 no. I'm no, not no, going to no. touch. I'm going to reach out with my mind. It's <laughs> not worth it. A, a phantom hand pokes the cheek of the one I'm speaking to. It's oh. for science. <laughs> oh, it's been so long since I've been right, touched so by not, a man. Not the vat of acid. Right? Uh, that, that, that sounds like a nightmare. They can feel no. everything. They can feel Not everything. even Dormek is that desperate. Yeah. <laughs> I, hey, who's a, who's yeah, a line a to take over for, uh, <laughs> for, like, Philip uh, Guppington or whoever the current king is? Philip the 19th? Uh, well, the 19th. obviously, whoever dethrones him, so it would be Illig, would become king. Oh. oh. It's not like a lineage or whatever. It's just whoever kills him. Keep what you kill, you know? The right of conquest, like I mentioned. So they have a very similar ruling structure to the Herringon, it seems. That may be in our best interest, based on uh, communications. You are such a sweet boy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Do you want another cheek poke? I would love one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're, you're you're welcome. Um, you use lotion, don't you? No, now now is not the time to lose one's head. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Do you lotion uh, your was, mind? That was, was tasteless. <laughs> What's that? That was tasteless. Oh yes. Well, you can if you can give us more information that might help us uh, understand the gazebo. Well, what would you come. like to know? Uh, what would we like to know? And uh, it, it's as free as a <laughs> cheek poke. How long has Bavlona Blightstraw been in charge for mm. real? I'm not sure I'd really say she's in charge. The king's clearly in charge. Bavlona oh. lives in the hut above. I'm sorry, I don't have any hands, so... Ugh, she uses her tongue. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Um, ooh, a fly. <laughs> um, yes. Um, she is... She doesn't come down often. She's distrustful. A shut-in. She loathes her sisters, especially Scabitha. Yes, Scabitha. And 
I think she really only lives here because of the pool in her house. You know the one I'm speaking of. When she likes to bathe in all the time. Oh, she's oh. she's well off enough to have a pool. Is... Yeah, it's, just burned, it, it's burned into it's my mind. It's quite important. This economy. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I mean, that's, that's a big deal. I mean, with inflation being what it is, and have a heating bill on that thing, man. How does a hag manage that? <laughs> is it like a you swamp know. water pool? Oh, well, I haven't seen it myself. I'm uh, just ahead, after all. Is that why her uh, stationery was sopping wet? Well, if you've seen received a letter from her, I would be shocked if it weren't, yes. Oh. She's always Mid-hit. quite moist. Oh. Uh, do you like... She, I know she has the ear of the king, but do you know, people like go to her for like favours? Oh, all the oh, time. God. Oh, God. What kind of... I don't think it all... I don't think it turns but out well for them. Isn't it like a witch is always like, oh, I'm going to go make a deal with a witch? Isn't that always <laughs> like a story? It's very similar to that, yes. She... You can go to her if you have a problem and she'll fix it, but she always wants something in return. And if you can't pay up, well, then you're screwed. And even if you can pay up, you're more than likely screwed anyway. Hmm. Oh. I wouldn't recommend it. It doesn't sound like a way to get ahead in life. No, that's no. simply the reason that no. Sir Talavar needed help from the soggy court to escape. Oh, what did Sir Talavar get mixed up in? Oh, he was captured by, um, he was captured by Bevlorna. Why? Oh, I don't rightfully know. Something to do with the queen of the summer court. Yeah, we know mm. why. Oh, no, we don't know why. We don't know what the fuck you're talking about. This is all new information. Oh. But a little fly told me that he had been instructed to make a deal with Bavlorna, and he refused. <clears throat> he was far too loyal to the summer queen. And word passed among the soggy court and there were those that felt like maybe the alliances here were a little shaky in that Bevlorna couldn't be trusted and thus neither could the ruling member of the soggy court and so strangely enough two of our most loyal knights helped him to escape one of them you know is locked away in jail right now awaiting trial by combat Oh yes, we and did it's such that. a shame too, Morgo. Morgo? Yes, the former Knight of Warts. She was the best at flying those balloon contraptions. Oh. Very skilled in their repair and their navigation. Oh. Well, what if she wins this trial and by loyal combat? Loyal too. What if she wins the trial by combat? Then she won't die terribly. If she had been here during my reign, I would have made her my right hand knight, and I never would have. Fallen, as I did. Hmm. Well, we need to make sure she doesn't fall because we owe her a blood debt of sorts. Her best friend escaped with Sir Talavar. Oh, what was what was his name? <laughs> do, we get, do we have to ask every time? Every fucking person we meet, I gotta no, take my hat off. Wiggle dog or something of oh, the sort. I have my nineties hat. <laughs> they were. <laughs> <laughs> they were the best of friends. Mm. Attached at the hip. They were tadpoles together, you see. Oh. 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 I'm sure wherever he is, it's very respectful. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, he's fine. He's fine. He Though they it. never said it, I do believe that they were a love match. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. oh wow. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm sure he's... I'm sure he just, you know, he's living yes, a great... Yes, you know that Morgo is only in chains as we speak because she sacrificed herself to make sure he escaped and could live on. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. I'm, I'm sure he's living on and he every single day he lights a candle in the window of a lovely cottage by the sea for the one day that she will return. I just keep talking. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't stop it. Uh, someone stop me. It's been lovely. Okay, thank it's you, thank been you. Been lovely. Lovely, and yes. it's been lovely too. Thank you, and I'll give her one. Oh, 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 oh yes. Oh. <laughs> you make an old frog feel young. Torvay's gonna be sick. <laughs> so, that of acid or no? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, thank you. All child. right, we got to do. It's been lovely. Oh, We're gonna look go. At you, you're an alligator. Yeah, you goodbye. like snoodle, I believe. Goodbye. <laughs> Frosty's touch will probably keep her going for another hundred years or so. Oh, I saw, 
I saw uh, the stage play Who Framed Regina Rabbit mm-hmm. as, a, as a child, and the, the acid scene really stuck with me. I'd, yes. ra- I'd rather not recreate it here. It was a strange time when that movie was made. Uh, I mean, major image. It was stage play. <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe it was. Uh, anyways, good, well, thank you very much for the pleasant conversation. Oh, clap. Bye. Bye. <laughs> You guys were acting really weird about that Talavar guy. Uh, what happened? We'll He's tell you, surely fine, right? We'll tell you tell you once we're across this bridge and out of the uh, many ears that are around here. All right. He's fine. <laughs> He's fine. Uh, Torbeck believes you. Oh, Talavar's yeah. fine. Yeah. Talavar's yeah. totally fine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Water oh, Clapperclaw! <laughs> hey, buddy! Did you find your head here? I can't even remember how to do the voice. Wow. <laughs> I know, I know, classic. but I just can't. Yeah, you have a skeleton phrase, at least. A couple of them. You know. Right? Yeah, that's you it. You know. You know, I haven't been able to find my head. <laughs> Did you find it atop the stump? No, we look too. We, we look very, very hard. Yeah. 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 That's Nothing really a shame because this one has those coins in it. And every time it go like this, it goes clink, 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 and then I can't sleep. Coins, you say? What? What? What kind of coins? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't put them in there. Oh. Are they like in the middle of the gourd? Is it like a? <laughs> we have to cut them out. <laughs> You're not going to cut into my head. No, no, no. I'm just wondering if, like, there's just something you know, <laughs> needed well, to happen. If you can just sort of do that, I gotta just help you out, get him out of there. Yeah. No, we just really like my head back. Well, we we did look, and we didn't see it. it wasn't up there. No, I, we actually found it. Didn't we find it? You found a bunch of spit. But somebody found a log book, right? Some kind of log book. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, gave I'll gave it to Twigs. I'll give it to Twig. And we found that the head was he was in here, wasn't it? Oh, that's to right. Bavlorna. Yes. Oh, that's right. Yes, we, Bav- we are we are aware that Bavlorna has your head. Uh, uh, well, I'm not going to go up there to get it, so. <clears throat> we will get it for you as thanks for giving us your boon. I have never been booned on so nicely before. <laughs> So, thank you for your boonage. <clears throat> You're really welcome. I will boon you anytime you'd like, as thank long you. as you bring my head back. Yeah, no. And I would also be willing to take you to thither, if that's where you want to go next. We would gladly give you head in exchange for booning. A thorough booning, please. <laughs> well, if you give me head, I will boon you as hard as I possibly can. Oh, thank you. Clapperclaw, you are a wonderful scarecrow. Uh, well, um, I'd, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, I mean, is there anything we is there anything else we can do for you while you're here? I mean, you just hanging out. Well, we'll get your head. We got a lot of business to attend to. Well, though. because I don't have a head of my own, I like to hang out with these heads on sticks. Mm. Well, then one of us, uh, these heads informed us that there was possibly an, a still alive head uh, down in the water. Uh, I don't know if you can swim or go underwater. If I go into the water, I get waterlogged, and then I have a hard time getting back up to the surface because my gourd fills with water, and then I stay down there. Oh, so don't do that. I was going to ask. Last time I had to have oh. this scallop dur carry me back up, okay. but what if he's not there? Oh, Rocky. Yeah. Rocky's not there. He's asleep. Well, it's probably fine that there's a head down there that's still... Conscious, awake, and in its own nightmare <laughs> mind prison. Uh, I mean, I'm to sure be it's fine. fair, there are a few empty posts, so I don't think it's the only one. Oh, perhaps they can keep each other company. <laughs> That's what Frosty's imagining right now. Well, is there anything we can do while we're here, or any 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 news? We, I right click on that one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, then. We're, no, we're, we're got I'm just sitting here waiting for my head to come back. Oh, okay. We'll get that for but you. But I no do problem. have a skiff hanging out around here hidden in the reeds. So if you come <laughs> oh. back to me and we need to get on the skiff, then mm. we can do that. You'll be our skiff. We can skiff to our skiff and yeah. then I'll skiff out of here. Dark well, times, I, think... I hope the king is okay. <laughs> <laughs> I propose that we uh, don't go to the gazebo and we look for the skiff. <laughs> I mean, she's been born into it. Anyway, we, we, we really got to get on with this uh, bloody revolution or heist or whatever this is. 
Well, it was really nice to see you again, though. I'm a little bit disappointed that you didn't have my head. Oh, oh we'll, I mean, we'll get it. We're, we're one step closer. We're closing in. But on. you know, the good thing is, at least I'm not a lost child soul in Gehenna. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're a child? Oh. <laughs> yeah, you, you, don't, you didn't remember that? No, I didn't. Oh, that, that's very important. Oh, good. Uh, check, please. <laughs> I just thought you were just a little scared, a little fella, you know, a little scared little fella. Uh, 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 <laughs> anyways, <laughs> that drowning frog game, we should probably f- go fish. Oh, yeah, we're, we're going to fish him out of the drink. Yeah, we'll fish him out. Goodbye, Glabaglow, Jabberjaw. It was good to see you. I will see you later. Stay safe. Oh, I can't wait to see the king. We, we continue to cross the bridge on the northern side. <laughs> we get to go to the gazebo. Also, did I find the embers? <laughs> You're so stupid. I know, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Uh, uh, you pass Clapper Claw as you make your way across the across the bridge. All of the heads continue to chatter at you um, and shout things out, uh, exclaiming about the ways that they were killed, yelling at the person who dethroned them, claiming that they were the greatest ruler of the soggy court. Um, but a consistent thread is that there is a coup afoot. And that King Gullop better watch his back, or his will be the next head upon a stick. As you make your way towards the gazebo, a grand marble gazebo stands atop a mound of soggy earth, its white stone streaked green with algae. The support pillars have sunk into the muck unevenly, so that the domed canopy now sits askew. Short steps ring the gazebo, leading to a raised floor where bully bugs, dressed in rococo dress, lounge on pillars. Among them, a harpist sends forth delicate notes that mingle with the murmured croaking of the gathered nobles. On a, on, on a dais, a flabby bullywug wearing a crown of woven lily flowers sits on an ornate throne with his legs folded under him. He has a large leather book bound open across his lap and is mouthing the words he reads on the pages without looking up. <clears throat> Without looking up, he says, Have you no herald to announce your presence before King Gullop the 19th? He slams the book closed, as if to punctuate his question regarding you for the first time. Sleepy bullywug guards standing around their monarch snap to attention and ready their weapons. A bullywug in jester's attire sits up looking confused as he makes miming <coughs> motions and then... Um, <laughs> Makes a motion of slitting his throat and fake dying a- against the steps. The king chuckles a little bit as he reaches down and pets a small alligator that sits next to him. Oh, Snoodle, we have guests. And that's where we'll end the session. No! <laughs> we walked 10 feet. <laughs> Literally. That's not true. We crossed a we bridge. We walked 35 feet. <laughs> we did way better than that. You can do that in a turn. Oh, man, I love this. <laughs> well, Welcome back to her back. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. We're not done. We're not? What's next, Eric? <laughs> I don't know what it. Uh, what? What's next, Andy? A bantress and chill. Thank God you're back. Which is where we talk about our favorite parts of the session. We theorize of which we would probably have many, but most importantly, we answer all of your questions and comments. So um, the next time that we'll be back will be uh, next Wednesday. Um, if you uh, you know can't stay for a bantress and chill, make sure you join our Discord. Check out our Patreon. Check out the merch shop. Um, and if you are gonna stick around for a bantress and chill, don't go anywhere. Uh, anything else? If you are gonna go, we'll be back on. Oh, uh, for Patreon for patrons at the Diamond Scarab tier and higher. Yep. This Thursday, mm, that's I guess tomorrow, tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're doing our first ever uh, kind of adventurous town hall. It's like yeah. a Discord stage Q and A, oh. where we're gonna call on folks, and you'll be able to you know in voice chat to ask yep. the question. Uh, ask us a question when we'll do our best to answer. Uh, should be a great time. We'll see how it goes, given yeah. that it'll be the first one. Um, and then we back on Wednesday for more Witch Light. And then is Icebound that Friday or no? Yeah. Icebound is April the Friday. 7th. 7th. The okay. next Friday. So the it's, next it's, Friday after yeah, that. Yeah, it's a couple, yes. couple Fridays. Yes, because next Monday is the 27th. I'm starting to feel pressure about. It's yeah. very exciting. It's, I'm super excited. 
Uh, so, don't go anywhere. What, what was the thing from last time? Don't go anywhere. We have a Patreon <laughs> merch store. 